a show to call? You just said I got a car, got a house, and all that. What kind of car is that? Why does it matter, though? You just told it me It does that. matter, because you do the top down, try to show the car. You just said I got a car, got a house, and all that. How much is your car? How much is your mortgage? What the fuck are you paying? You still owe the government. Shut the fuck up. You don't owe nothing. You ain't got no land. You ain't got no generational wealth. Who the fuck are you? You on YouTube as behind the fucking bar. A bar. A negative connotation. That shit ain't shit. That's nothing but licking a bunch of bullshit. You need to get in touch with your masculinity and get the fuck out of that feminine side of yourself and stop thinking you tougher than everybody else when you know you's a fucking punk. Pussy little scared motherfucker. You won't tell me your addy or nothing where you live at because of yourself and stop thinking you tougher than everybody else. When you know you's a fuck lenity and get the fuck out of that feminine side of yourself. Bunch of bullshit. You need to get in touch with your masculinity and get the fuck out of that feminine side of yourself and stop thinking you tougher than everybody else. When you know you's a fucking punk, pussy little scared motherfucker, you won't tell me your addy or nothing where you live at because you know I'll fuck you up, you bitch, because you a pussy ass nigga and you just gonna be behind the bar hiding, making videos, and just trying to clout chase everybody. When I came from behind, I've been standing on integrity, uh, uh, sympathy, empathy, honesty, trust. Uh, uh, every fucking thing I stand on is for us as a community to grow. What the fuck you been standing on? Oh, I got to And stop thinking you tougher than everybody else. When you get in touch with your masculinity and get the fuck out of that feminine side of yourself and stop thinking you tougher than everybody else. When you know you's a fucking punk, Pussy little scared motherfucker. Yeah, you won't tell me you're adding a bunch of bullshit. You need to get in touch with your masculinity and get the fuck out of that feminine side of yourself. Yeah, and I stop see you. What's up, Chaz? You know what up, everybody? Pussy little scared yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, about this bitch ass, ass nigga. Ass First of all, you you know I fuck and just to have fun. I know the little bitch ass niggas is in the in the in the cut. I appreciate the. Uh, I just took it upon myself to uh i don't know if these are gonna come in, in order but this bitch ass nigga mark gaster pay you some attention too bitch ass nigga <laughs> i was surfing the net and um i was surfing the net and look what i found so this shit right here look what i found on the internet <laughs> uh, let's talk about this mr knowledge Let's talk about this, Mr. Knowledge Born. Let's talk about this, nigga. Let's talk about this, motherfucker. So this Knowledge Born shit, right? This bitch-ass nigga. This nigga had the fucking nerve to go to his daughter's school. And, and for everybody that want to know, hold up. This is his daughter right here, right? So this bitch-ass nigga going to go to his daughter's school and what the report alleged was, you know, he went to his daughter's school. This is his daughter right here. Why he want to be on Clash of the Titans and Clash of the Champions and all that other shit. This is why that bitch ass nigga be saying this shit about people, kids, he be saying. So the nigga goes to the motherfucking school. The nigga goes to the school and motherfucking, he got his daughter appointment allegedly somewhere right we don't know what we know he had to put up a defense to try to save his face but he goes to his daughter's school and this bitch ass nigga this bitch ass nigga drags his daughter down the fucking hallway he, he drags his fucking daughter down the hallway and not only did he drag his daughter down the hallway <laughs> This nigga's a fucking scumbag. Get freaky with it, nigga. <laughs> you forgot. You be fucking with the wrong ones. You be tearing your ass up, nigga. <laughs> yeah, so this, again, this is Knowledge Born. Oh, that was Roski right there. I'll get to him later on. But yeah, that was this, this, this is the nigga Knowledge Born right here. Look at them two motherfucking glasses. <laughs> it looked like two motherfucking chevy nova headlights <laughs> them headlights in the junkyard boy what kind of car look at that nigga that nigga got on trifocus nigga. that nigga shit look like a real headlight nigga to a ford escort then you got this bitch ass nigga behind the bar he mad at the drunkies he get mad at them last night because somebody say something about his punk ass and he felt like they didn't defend him I told that bitch ass nigga, 
Then he gonna block me right on some sucker shit. Then he had the nerve. I'm trying to I'm trying to surf if I could find this video of that nigga shadow boxing. Did y'all see that bitch ass nigga behind the bar shadow boxing? He take this YouTube shit too too serious. He gonna be the one to get killed on YouTube. His dumb ass pulling up to somebody motherfucking project like shit sweet stupid ass nigga. That nigga encountered ten toes down. Look how ten toes down talking to this bitch ass nigga. Look how ten toes down talking to this bitch ass nigga. Mark Gaston, don't go nowhere, nigga. I got time for you too, nigga. Look how ten toes down talking to this nigga. Get inside. Look, look how ten toes down talking yes, to this nigga. nigga. You just gonna be behind the ball, hiding, making videos, and just trying to clout chase everybody. When I came from behind, I've been standing on integrity, uh, uh, sympathy, empathy, honesty, trust. Uh, uh, every fucking thing I stand on is for us as a community to grow. What the fuck you been standing on? Oh, I got Hold up. You need to get in contact with your fucking mask inside, you bitch ass nigga. You bitch ass nigga. Hold up. I'm gonna get, I got a uh, Bahama bar meets chin toes down. He should have. He should ten toes down did the right thing, cause your punk ass, your punk ass looking for a lawsuit, nigga. You you do, you got the most mouth on YouTube, and you the softest one up here, nigga. Right at the Gotti is your punk ass, nigga. Right at the Gotti is your punk ass, nigga. Hold up behind the bar, punk ass, nigga. How you feel, bro? That's how Listen at you, copy, please, nigga. Okay. Ten toes run down on Maine the milkman while he's live, y'all. Exclusive. Whoa. Whoa. Look he at these niggas. Only ain't shitting on that nigga. I smacked the shit out of you, oh. pussy. Fuck is wrong with you, you bitch ass nigga? In your face, nigga. In your face, nigga. In your face, nigga. In your face, nigga. Yeah, you better not turn that live off. It's in your face, nigga. We're talking shit on the internet goes wrong. Turn the live. Turn the live. I'll smack you on live. In your face, you bitch ass nigga. That's how you feel? Yeah, that's how you feel, you punk ass nigga. Look at all these weapons around him. Cans of string beans and everything. This bitch ass nigga. Those down runs down on main and milk. Bitch ass nigga. Look at these niggas. Like, this is real this shit, shit is fucking. Let's listen to this. Listen at this shit. Thank you. Punk ass nigga. Told you spit on you talking about respect. The police wasn't posted out there. I'm finished. But you better be careful when the fuck you want right now. Punk ass right. nigga. That's cool. Talking about respect. He was talking about right. cool. white head. Respect. 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 Bitch ass nigga. Respect. So I can wash you in mm here. -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pussy. Mm -hmm. You a bitch. Mm -hmm. In your now face, face nigga. Uh-huh. 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 Yep. I ain't got nothing on me. I ain't got no weapon. Okay. I ain't got no me, nigga. Okay. These right here, I'll okay. fuck you up. Okay. In your I face. Fuck you when I see your niggas in your mm -hmm. face, mm -hmm. your niggas' language change, mm -hmm. man. Bitch ass nigga. Pussy. Mm -hmm. I'm for real about this shit. I'll fuck you up, nigga. Easy. In your face, nigga. Now go talk shit. You talk on online. His man gonna get his uh. What did he say? <laughs> that, that that sandwich he was getting. Is he gonna get that sandwich, y'all? <laughs> Tell me he gonna wait for his <laughs> he waiting for his sandwich, man. Tell me he gonna put these gonna walk out. Respecting you, nigga. Talk that shit you talk online. Yeah, we, we got exclusive, y'all. I, I respect it. I, I respect it. I respect it. All right, you know what? All right, cool. Mm-hmm. Talk that shit you talk online. Respect that shit. Talk that shit you talk We got ten toes down in the building. What's going on, Tan? What's going on, baby? You good? You Gucci? All right. We got ten toes down, y'all. Punk ass nigga. Respect, man. Respect. He came up, put up on behind the bar, and he not scared. I, I respect it. I respect it, yo. I respect it, man. I respect it. 
I respect it. Listen, listen. All that stuff we talk at the internet, I, I'm glad that this ain't no digital Hollywood. It's all good, my nigga. What's up? I ain't got a problem with you. Why you got problems with me for? Nigga, you know how we do it. He definitely ain't digital Hollywood. They be claiming, man. He's stuttering and everything. Claim he got shot. This nigga just ran down on Main and Milk, man, while he's saying that he's live and direct in Bronx River Projects, man. He ran down on him. I don't know what how close that stove is close. Yeah, so that it. must be the nearby stove for Bronx River. These niggas Project. got 128,000 views. But you know what it is. But you know how we do. Because you talk the shit. You put K shit. You talk shit. You, you call me K2, my nigga. You know that. You said you did that to me first. Bro, but I'm, I never come out at no nigga disrespect. You, said, you said to me, I'm one of the new, new, new side table, no meat eater. You, you can't ain't even the first talk, talk about nigga. me, my nigga. What you doing, know my nigga? I came at you with some respect. You can't even you talk, talk, nigga. You ain't never show me love, my nigga. Everybody love Tell me you ain't never show me love. Shut your punk ass up. Show me my first video I ever made about you. Ever. It's on your channel, my nigga. I got 13,000 views, my nigga. This one got 128,000. Ain't no need to even go back and forth. It's okay. It's okay. You said what you said. Right. 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 All I'm telling you now, right now, nigga, it's right here solidified, nigga. You did all that talking on me. He's a bitch, nigga. Straight up stone cold bitch, man. The milk man. Let's talk about knowledge born, though. Let's talk about knowledge born. So knowledge born and his fucking his his daughter. So his daughter was in, in school and shit, man. Right? So this is a real story right here. This shit was on the Doctor Richie. <laughs> he made undisputed with this story right here. So this nigga daughter and shit. <laughs> she was in school. So, you know what I mean? She was in school. She was telling them how bad her daddy is. And she don't want to be home with her daddy and shit. You know, her daddy mistreats her. And her daddy don't cook. You know, basically every man for themselves around here. That she was telling the, the school that her daddy makes hookups. And <laughs> he cooks one-ons and hookups and shit. Prison meals and shit. You know what I mean? Tuna fish and oodles and noodles and shit like that. You feel me? Like. So she was going to school and she was telling them. So they was looking into this shit. Like, yo, this nigga doing what? So it's like, yeah. She was like, yo, this nigga act like we in prison. This nigga feeding us like prison meals and shit. You feel what I'm saying? He, he like child call. He doing everything. She got, we got 10 minutes to be at the table. Like this nigga, <laughs> this nigga knowledge was going crazy and shit. So she go to school. She start telling the school like, yo, look, stepfather ain't acting right. This nigga crazy. So he trying to motherfucking contradict her because he the parent. So he trying to make it seem like something wrong with her. But the whole time is knowledge. You feel me? So it ain't her. So it's this nigga. So they, he goes to school and drag the young lady out the classroom and shit. You feel me? Like he, she like, nah, she don't want to go. She in class. He grabbed her like by the hair by her arm and shit, like, start yanking her down the hallway and shit in school. So you know what they did to his dumb ass? <laughs> Locked the stupid ass up, right? But that ain't even the funny part. That ain't the funny part. The funny part is after this nigga get out of jail, right, this dumb ass nigga supposed to get a lawyer, this nigga say he gonna represent himself. <laughs> Now, this nigga is in school. He got the teachers that see it. He just like, you don't got no defense for this shit. Now it's just like, is your reason? You feel what I'm saying? Like the courts want to know your reason. That's what they wanted to know. So this nigga gets up there and he tell them, you know, like he learned how to make hookups and shit in prison, like swoles and, you know, <laughs> like his daughter and them wasn't going for that shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like this nigga was in the house trying to live under prison rules so <laughs> hey yo so knowledge was in the house trying to motherfucking live up under under prison rules so that's what happened his daughter went to school and she told him that you know her daddy was on um, trying to enforce <laughs> the department of uh connecticut <laughs> The Department of Connecticut uh, institution rules and regulations in a household. You feel me? So that's what it is, though. So it's her, her little brothers and shit, though. You feel what I'm saying? So after they eat and shit, you know what I mean? He come walking down the motherfucking hallway like the warden and shit. Then he like, yard call. So they got tired of that shit. You feel what I'm saying? So when she went to school, she just started telling them, like, yo, 
You feel me? So one of the other kids told the parents, told him, like, yo, look, she went to school and said you was not me, you was acting up. So he gonna try to get mad, call the school and allege that she, she you know, she got all these um, issues with her learning abilities and, you know, she dysfunctional, whatever he alleged. That was just for his defense. But as you can see on record, again, one of them niggas that got the most motherfucking mouth, you feel what I'm saying? One of them niggas that got the most mouth on this fucking computer, he got allegations where he done been convicted. Not only convicted, the nigga, he appealed the shit. And the appeal court found that, you know, that the uh, superior court ruling was justified. You feel what I'm saying? So this bitch ass nigga, a, a, a main and milk, man. That was, that was death of a cloud chaser. They got 128,000 views watching 10 toes down, run down on your punk ass. I didn't even watch the whole thing, you bitch ass nigga. You gonna get mad at Fresh Breezley and the Drunkies last night. Shout out to them niggas because you felt that somebody came on their podcast and said something and they didn't defend you. Well, it's proof right here, you bitch ass nigga, that you ain't nothing but all fucking mouth, nigga. You allow this man. You understand what I'm saying? Niggas can say whatever they want to say about whoever they want to say it about. But at the end of the day, we all men. You allow this man to violate your personal space, you bitch ass nigga, with no repercussions. The nigga checked your temperature. You feel what I'm saying? The nigga felt that you posed no threat to him. Nigga, you set up. And then you was just like making like a Rocky video where you was like, I guess you was supposed to be shadow boxing or some shit. Nigga, you look like you was fucking double dutch. That's what the fuck you look like. You look like you was about to fucking jump in a rope, a du double dutch. You look like a fucking, a straight fucking punk behind the bar. You look like fucking Alan Greer from uh, fucking Living Color, nigga. You fucking two snaps in the fucking circle, bitch ass nigga. That's what you look like, nigga. You look like fucking Alan Greer from Living Color. You's a bitch ass nigga. You corny as hell. And what man says, woo child? Like, nigga, you's a bitch, nigga. You got a lot of feminine ways, too, nigga. You feel me? You have a lot of feminine ways, nigga. And it's sad that your fucking kids got to be your kids. Because you know why? It's it's okay for your fucking, for your old lady, your wife to cheat on you, nigga. She got you just to pay the bills, nigga. She needs somebody to show them kids how to be a man. Because you's a bitch, nigga. You feel what I'm saying? Like, nigga, you's a bitch. You's a stone cold bitch. Fifteen... 11 years ago, nigga, you was motherfucking confused. You was real humble. You feel what I'm saying? But once y'all mooks got the rights and y'all got the confidence and your community grew, now I look at you, nigga. You trying to act like you a straight man, nigga, but you really a bitch, nigga. Ain't nothing straight about you. You don't got a straight bone in your body, you bitch ass nigga. You a whole fucking bitch, nigga. I ain't never in my life had a car repo, nigga. Who the fuck you talking to? What the fuck you talking about, you fucking country ass nigga? You and this nigga knowledge, got it. All you bitch ass niggas run together. Look at this shit right here. Look at this shit right here. Hold up. Look at this shit right here, knowledge. Knowledge, you's a bitch, nigga. See, that shit that y'all niggas be talking about, I don't really care about that shit, nigga. I don't want to hear that shit. Y'all niggas be saying nothing, nigga. Heard it all before. I was at work. This nigga Maine and Milk, man. He's a stone cold bitch, though. You and this fucking country ass nigga, knowledge born. Look at this nigga. She hate that nigga guts. That nigga went to the school and fucking violated this little girl. She hate your fucking guts, bro. Let me see. She hate your fucking guts. Um knowledge you don't put your hands on her you know what she did nigga she definitely wasn't feeling you nigga let me see you don't want to talk about this huh? her knowledge you don't want to talk about then you got people out here supporting you thinking you your content is cool or you're a cool dude you's a fucking animal bro you's a fucking animal and you fucking chicken kids you feel me? That's why that little girl never around. And that's why your oldest son, that nigga's a fucking punk. 
That's why your son turned out to be a straight fucking punk. That's why your son a punk. Your son turned out to be a fucking punk. That nigga daddy is square. He's, he's a fucking punk, nigga. You trying not to motherfucking claim that nigga, nigga. We all know that's your motherfucking son, nigga. You want to get up here and talk shit about people. Talk about your motherfucking kids, nigga. Show your kids, nigga. Huh? Bet you won't have a show your kid challenge, motherfucker. You don't want YouTube to see the motherfucking rejects. Hold up, knowledge. You punk ass nigga. Huh? You don't want YouTube to see them, huh? I, I think YouTube need to know what the fuck going on between you, Sonny Blanco, um, uh, hold up, y'all. Hold up. Uh, hold on. I'm going to read this. Hold up. It's fucking not. This nigga knowledge is a fucking piece of shit. You get up there and talk about everybody's shit. Look, knowledge. I'm trying to figure out you. She be on your ass, knowledge. Let me see. Let me see, knowledge. Let me see. Let me. Let me see. Put my. Let me see. Put my shit on real fast, you bitch, nigga. Let me just say. Um, a risk of injury to a child to defend the appeal. The public court, his conviction stemmed from an incident where he drags his daughter. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. This nigga right here. Risk of injury to a child to defend the appeal. But the appeal of court, his conviction stemmed from an incident in which he drags his daughter, A, down the hallway of a school that in an effort to take her, despite her protests, to an appointment at a mental health facility where A's teacher witnessed the incident. At trial, the defendant, who was self-represented, defense of parental justification in support of his defense, he attempted to elect testimony from W's about A's history, behavior at school. He also attempted to testify directly What's that aggressive behavior at home is difficult managing that his efforts to obtain mental health treatment for her leading to this incident, I guess. The prosecutor, however, repeatedly objected to this opening and the trial court sustained, um, excuse me, the trial court sustained many of the objections. He was like, hey, but shit, objection. Hey, but wait a minute, objection. Wait a minute, uh, but objection. <laughs> sustain, sustain. <laughs> that corny ass nigga. The appellate court, the defendant claimed, yeah, he claimed, he claimed, um, inter ally, uh, what's that, Alia, that it had violated his constitutional right to present a defense. Um, his cross examination of W and his direct examination of defendant specifically contended that the trial court's evidence precluded him from exploring information relevant to justification defense. Mm. The appellate court affirmed the trial and the defendant on the granting of certification. I, they, they just held it. You know, they concurred. The, the, the fucking appellate division concurred that you was a fucking bitch ass nigga and that you violated that young girl. You feel what I'm saying? This is why, this why the girl don't want to be around you, knowledge. This why the girl don't want to be around you. You get up here on this fucking computer app. This is bad too, nigga. This is bad. Look at your fucking eyes, nigga. Look at your eyes. Your eyes look like, your glasses look like a fucking stethoscope, nigga. <laughs> A telescope, nigga. <laughs> you can put you can put your motherfucking glasses on, nigga, and look for the next lunar eclipse, nigga. Fuck watching it, nigga. You can go put your glasses on. You can see the sky all the way in Arizona from Connecticut with them glasses on, nigga. <laughs> hey yo, I told you that nigga, that little girl was saying that he go to the motherfucking school. She went to school and said he kept trying to motherfucking put the prison meals. Look at this nigga prison suit. 
He got a prison suit on. Like, look at this nigga. Look at this nigga. He got his he got his steak ID around his neck. Look at this nigga. This nigga ugly as hell, boy. He got a state ID around him. And that poor little pretty little young lady. She's such a pretty little young lady. I feel my bless her soul, man. My heart goes out to you, young lady, that you had to have somebody like that in your life. A nigga of that caliber right there that want to mistreat you. And, you know, that's why he say little things like that about his son doing shit like that. The little girl's eight years old. He have no respect for you. He got no respect for you. You feel what I'm saying? And I knew you grew up. You're going to grow up to hate him. And it's okay because he's such a piece of shit. You know, at your age, you young, beautiful little lady, you should not be eating prison meals. No, ma'am. You you should not be, you know, um, getting ready to go outside. Got a line up by the door waiting for him to say yard out. <laughs> You know, he got you, he got Nicolette, her country ass, her motherfucking Wayne Gretzky face looking ass. She don't mind. You feel me? He got y'all lined up. Well, you don't got up out of there. Ain't nobody in the house but him, her, and the dog. You don't got you don't got up out of there. You feel what I'm saying? Like this, this, this nigga. And it's it's not cool. You feel what I'm saying? Like he got y'all standing in the hallway for him to say yard out. <laughs> Hey, yo, that nigga ain't tell y'all about this. Oh, that's that picture of Roski. My fault, though. <laughs> I be having fun with this shit, yo. These niggas, is... <laughs> that's that picture of Roski. Hey, yo, I be having fun with this shit, though. You feel me? Like, these niggas be, but I'm going to leave this up right here, knowledge. You know, for, for some people want to see that, though. You feel what I'm saying? Like, some people want to see that. You always got something to say about somebody. You know, you need to be letting your peoples know and explaining this this behavior. You feel what I'm saying? Like you then you have people that supporting you. And nigga, you not only have to be very disrespectful to women verbally and stalk women, you feel what I'm saying? You also have a problem with kids. You don't you don't respect your own kids. So it, it's easy for you to get up here on YouTube and say, you know, something about somebody else's child and engaging in, you know, sexual activity, a manner that's inappropriate for kids at that age, you know, for you to say, well, so now, you know, I don't understand, but I see where you're coming from. Um, the courts think you're a piece of shit. You know, the courts think you're a piece of shit. Um, you know, they, 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 they and, and because of your lack of knowledge, thinking you're a fucking lawyer, you bitch ass nigga, you stupid ass nigga. Every time you open up your motherfucking mouth to say something, the fucking prosecutor objected and the judge sustained it. So basically what that is, is the prosecutor was telling you to shut up and the judge was like, yeah, be quiet. Like you never got a chance to say nothing. So you based your appeal on that alone. It, it, you, so, so those grounds didn't violate anything, you bitch ass nigga, because you did go to that girl's school you did go to this young lady school and you did drag her out the classroom. You grabbed her by her hair. You grabbed her by her arm. You disrespected her. You feel what I'm saying? It's sad that so many of these kids grow up in house and in the home with parents like this. You feel what I'm saying? Look at this motherfucker glasses right here. You see what I'm saying? Look at this nigga glasses. You can see this nigga past looking at this glasses right here. You can see this nigga. Look at this shit right here. <laughs> He's a bitch ass nigga, y'all. And, and you shouldn't be putting your hands on kids. You know, you shouldn't be talking about kids having sex at eight years of age and thinking it's appropriate, you know. But now we see why you say the shit that you say, because you don't respect your own daughter. You don't respect your own daughter. You married a motherfucker that looked like a dude. You feel what I'm saying? And this is a beautiful young lady. And she has, you know, Bless her soul. I got seven daughters, you know, and I feel for her. My heart goes out to her for having to deal with you, you know, like, but you is one ugly ass nigga, boy. Your glasses look crazy as fuck, nigga. You look like you got the lens for them glasses out the junkyard, nigga. What kind of car did you get the motherfucking glasses out of the lens? What kind of car did you get them lens up out of, nigga? You, them shits must have been sitting on the side, nigga. Poor baby. You feel what I'm saying? Like, 
just imagine to be a, a teenager and your pops is just telling you like yard call, mess call, um, lights out, coming around for counting shit like that. You feel me? Like y'all niggas be up on this YouTube talking a lot of shit, man. But mental health and problems, um, they exist right in the household. You feel what I'm saying? Um, it's sad, bro. It's, it, it's sad that you got enough time to come up here and dox people and this, that, and the third, but you forgot to tell the YouTube community this, that, and the third. You feel what I'm saying? With this being about your motherfucking criminal past, that being about your criminal past with your motherfucking daughter, and the third was your stupid ass represented yourself on this case, on this serious matter. And not only did you lose trial, they found your dumb ass motherfucking um, that the court was right and on your appeal. So you's a sad ass nigga, nigga. You just and again, blessings to this young lady. Don't feel good. Don't I don't know. You must have made her take this picture right here, nigga. <laughs> you must have you must have made her okay, kind of corn glasses and hoodies. <laughs> Yeah, they fucking dating. This is so sad because this nigga got so much fucking energy to come on YouTube and be worrying about shit that he act like he know this, that nigga, you don't know shit. I know that there's motherfucking public paperwork, nigga, with you motherfucking going to your daughter's school and dragging your daughter down the fucking hallway, nigga, and disrespecting her to the point that the law got in. You definitely was arrested, bitch. You feel what I'm saying? This shit made it all the way to Superior, and then you had the pill. You definitely was arrested. You feel what I'm saying? You was arrested for putting your fucking hands in violating. And then you got stupid-ass motherfucking women that fucking come up there and support you. You feel what I'm saying? Like, y'all motherfuckers is fucking delusional. You motherfuckers is just as bad as the motherfucker that committed the act because you supporting this motherfucker. You feel what I'm saying? Like, for y'all to be supporting all motherfuckers, um, um, this shit like this, granted, okay, so some people gonna say they ain't know, but you still make a decision. You feel what I'm saying? Like, how could you trust a motherfucker like this? A motherfucker that goes to this kid's school and do some bullshit like this, you know, and he, he, he do some bullshit like this to his own child embarrassing you know why he did this because he don't have the fucking the, the, the proper skills to be a parent he don't have the composure the intellect you know what i'm saying he don't he don't know how to converse he don't know how to um 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 present himself as a man present himself as a dad you feel what i'm saying like he just he think he can <laughs> nobody don't want to hear that shit your fucking kids hate you bro you you actually went to her fucking school and dragged her out of class where your kids fucking hate you, bro. She had never in her life forgive you for that. You feel what I'm saying? Like, so some of that time you got for these YouTube niggas, you need to be motherfucking applying that shit to yourself. Yeah, he still got his jail glasses on. You see the tape on the motherfucking arm? <coughs> I told him shit looked like a fucking telescope. Look how long the motherfucking, look how thick them glasses is. Them glasses look like a fucking side of your mirror. Fuck on with that nigga. Yeah, he be with that nigga to fucking bozo. He got that pedophile look to him. You know he do. He's a fucking weirdo. He's a fucking weirdo. Juice, juice, what up, crazy? I'm talking about FUBU shit. <laughs> Platinum FUBU. Yeah, you got the platinum fubu on. That nigga look crazy. That nigga country as hell. That's a motherfucking, that's a Connecticut prison sweats. I mean, um, jail suit right there. That ain't even a Carhartt suit. That ain't even no dicky suit. That's the motherfucking suit from the Department of Correction. Got those honey, I shrunk the kids. <laughs> Them glasses thick as hell, yo. Look at that nigga. That's why he sound like that. That nigga be straining the fucking see. You know, all kind of rage hit that hurt that nigga shit. Look at that nigga glasses. And that poor little pretty young lady, man. Bless her soul, bro. Bless her soul. Yo, if y'all cover that nigga, cover that nigga 
knowledge born hat and just look at his face. That nigga lips and nose look like Whoopi Goldberg from fucking the color purple. That nigga shit. That nigga lips is purple. Like, look at that nigga. That nigga look funny as hell, boy. Look at that nigga. He got his state ID wrapped around his neck. Corny as hell. Who the fuck wear clothes like that? Look at this nigga right here. Country ass nigga. Hey, yo, Worm. That nigga got some sweatpants on under that shit. He got some blue sweatpants on, some blue jeans. 70 in the face looking at. <laughs> hey, yo. Hey, that ain't even no do rag up there, nigga. That, that's the sleeve of a motherfucking thermal on his head, nigga. That nigga's a bitch, nigga. Yeah, them niggas be acting like them niggas crazy as hell, man. I don't give a fuck about them corny ass niggas. Between this weirdo ass nigga, the dumb ass nigga, Maine and Milk, man, he done got fucking humiliated. And he would, and that's another thing. Let me tell you something. Y'all niggas on YouTube be saying, that somebody gonna end up getting fucked up. Y'all gonna say, if such and such get caught by such and such, or such and such get caught in traffic, if anybody, right? If the right one see the wrong one, that shit lit, right? It's a situation, right? But how about this? How about you got the motherfucking wrong one just putting himself in the wrong situations, right? Main and milkman will be the dumbass nigga, the first one. To get motherfucking get his head knocked off. First of all, have y'all seen that nigga motherfucking body language, his mannerism, everything on that nigga is a fucking bitch. You feel what I'm saying? Like main the milkman behind the bar is he have feminine ways. He talk like a fucking bitch. He ain't got no heart. Y'all niggas get on this YouTube and fucking like to. You you willing to die behind behind the bar, nigga? You ain't got no major deal. You ain't got shit. You got the same thing they got coming in a fucking YouTube check. You are willing to die to be famous. Money is not the root of all evil. You stupid bitch ass niggas is the root of all evil because there's no way in the face of this motherfucking green earth that I'm gonna motherfucking risk my life. For motherfucking YouTube channel, nigga. You got to be stupid, nigga. You know what, Main and Milk, man? You're such a bitch. You're such a fucking punk, my nigga. And this is the thing. This is why niggas like you, you like the fucking Fresh Prince of Bel Air, you bitch ass nigga. You got to stay up out of motherfucking um, urban neighborhoods. The geographical um, areas that we come from, nigga, hoods, you don't know nothing about it, nigga. You feel me? You a bitch ass nigga. You will walk into a motherfucking trap and you don't even sense danger, nigga. That's how much of a bitch you is, main and milk, man. You have no fucking knowledge of fucking violence. You have no history of anything. You are a fucking YouTuber. You are a straight YouTuber that's ready to die for your fucking podcast and for your brand, you bitch ass nigga. I don't give a fuck about YouTube. I don't give a fuck about none of that. I would never risk my fucking life and fucking in my anything for YouTube. You talk about, you know, you went to the fucking, shout out to the fucking BX. You went to Bronx River on a suicide mission, you bitch ass nigga. And you encountered fucking 10 toes down, 10 toes down. And you fucking failed, nigga. You straight failed, nigga. You fucking failed, nigga. You nigga. <laughs> Oh my God. This nigga knowledge born. He goes to his daughter's school and he done made hmm. her an appointment. He done made his daughter in a school appointment. He goes to his daughter's school and his daughter, he he done been at the house, got them fucking on a fucking prison diet, talking about yard and, and child time and all this other what shit. What school was like, it? Huh? What school this, was it? No, this was her school. This was what? the little baby school. So he go mm -mm, to, I'm talking to Wax AP ass. Tell, tell bro, I'm I talking to Wax AP. Tell bro, I said, what up? He said, hi. Hey. He said, what up? What, what up? school she went to? Because you know I'm from Barford. I was just interested in what school. Oh, we got, well, so we're going to look and get the records. But the court, the, the court records say that, you know, oh, this is what he did do, though. And because of the, because of this is a baby and a child, 
she they they withheld her name, which is appropriate, which is cool. But you know, right, clearly, right, right. It clearly states how he went to the school, and he he said that she had an appointment somewhere. She said, nah. You know, he tripped and he grabbed her by her hair, her wrist, dragged her down the hallway, did all kind of crazy shit. Oh, DCF yeah. called. Mm hmm DCF was called. That's a man mandatory reporters. Uh, you went in front of a full mandatory reporters and did that ghetto shit. Why would he even touch his daughter like that? Because he don't have no respect for fucking women. You see how he get up here on his fucking YouTube and chase people and run around and say all this other shit. And he want his he want his fifteen year old son to get freaky with an eight year old baby. This is why. This is why this nigga don't even love his own daughter. His daughter don't want to be around his sorry ass bitch ass nigga. Mm. He's a bitch well, ass he didn't even think he had kids, and he got a whole daughter out here. And he's over here loving the, the fucking niggas on the internet instead of loving his own kids. That's sad. Yeah, he'd rather be he'd rather be down with the motherfucker, whatever that name of that stupid ass thing he got going on, the degenerate, whatever the fuck that shit is. Well, he, I thought his channel was took it down. He got another channel on him now. I don't watch that nigga. I seen that nigga the other day. That nigga said some crazy shit. I ain't never in my life heard nothing. That nigga, that nigga crazy as hell. That nigga said some shit about my dad. I'm like, what the fuck? That nigga, what the fuck? That nigga must be out of his mind. That nigga crazy, nigga. You went to your daughter's yeah. school. Yeah, he went to his daughter's school and did this dumb shit. He got mental health issues, honey. She never gonna, she never gonna forgive him. Like she hate him all her life for this. You feel what I'm saying? You know the law got involved. You know he embarrassed. Yeah, the law got involved. He did that at school. That's you might as well have just hung it up. Embarrassed him in front of her friends and everything. He didn't give a fuck. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. he ain't, he ain't That's sad. Yeah, That's too bad. Hmm. I said, that's too bad. That's sad. Like, why would you do that to your kid? You don't give a fuck. And then she give a fuck about niggas, though. He love niggas. He love niggas. Then look at her. She, he got that. He look just like him. He got that prison suit on. This nigga. Mm -hmm. the he detail look just report. like her father. The detail report said that she was going to, that, you know, she was telling them how he was trying to make them. Um, stand at the door to go outside and shit, and um, you know, just prison shit. You feel what I'm saying? And they wasn't with that shit. She wasn't. She wasn't with the motherfucking, you know, the child call movement and anything. So she was just telling the school how the conditions was at the house. So he get mad and go to school, and he started making all these allegations about this, that, and the third, whatever, whatever. But anyway, he go to school and shit, and. Alleg he alleged that she got an appointment. And like I said, he dragged her out of the classroom against her will. You feel what I'm saying? Despite her protest, she don't want to go with him. He dragged her and grabbed her by her to the point where they had to call the police and lock the dumb ass up. You got to be a really fucked up parent for your kid to go to school and talk about you. Yeah, he, he crazy as hell, bro. He crazy. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Nigga look weird as hell. He's a weirdo. Look at him. That's like a picture that you don't want to see in the living room. Yeah, he crazy as hell. Look at this nigga right here. That nigga crazy as hell. He got the whole jail outfit on. He must be on the furlough. Ooh. Huh? Then he, he got that nigga the weird. He got the nerve to have a wrist on his shit cuff. Like, fuck, this nigga got them big ass clothes on again. Yeah! <laughs> He got his, he got his, got a wrist cuff. He got them big ass clothes on again. <laughs> this nigga's a weirdo. That nigga got a name Mark T, like Booker T. That's an <laughs> old ass nigga. <laughs> we dealing with a slavery nigga, man. What's his name? Mark T, like Booker T ass face. Like what <laughs> is wrong with this nigga? <laughs> he making a point to be on the internet though, but don't give a fuck about his kids. That's just sad. Yeah, it's real sad. It's real, real sad. You know I will hang this shit up if my kids even call me in my house. Like, niggas is in the room screaming at the wall. It feels like that's okay. Yeah, that's... But that's what he That's what he like. That's what he get a kick out of. You feel what I'm saying? He like to get freaky with it. Thank God she didn't get that ugly-ass chin. Oh, my goodness. That chin looked like an ass, boy. But that, shit, that chin looked like it got diarrhea. <laughs> what about his glasses? 
His glasses. Oh, uh, you already know it's the same joke everybody can make. Bifocal, has glasses. The shit looked like he just kept the prison glasses. He didn't give a fuck. He did not give a fuck. He must have still ain't get Medicare or something. Cause damn, nigga, you in the hood. I know you got some social security and Medicare. You got the gray card. He he, he fucking. JP, what you up? can tell that nigga wear. Who the fuck wear do rags and hats still together? <laughs> you know, mad people block. Who block who? Hello. Yo. Fuck Jimmy P. Talk about. I don't know where the hell he go. I don't know. He came in and came out. This nigga right here he said, "Who still is fake ass chic loops." Want to be ass nigga? No that nigga could never be in that category. That nigga looked like a recovering addict. <laughs> them, them nigga, he looked like a nigga in the AA meeting and shit. Like that nigga do not look like like he. It's too much going on. The nigga got the stickers on his hat. He's just still <laughs> stuck in the nineties. <laughs> He's still stuck in the nineties, though, nigga. Like what the fuck is that sterling silver around his neck? I don't know. He got the level five glasses on him. Then the level fives, the bulletproof level fives. That nigga look, this nigga corny as hell. Uh, corny as a bozo. That yeah. nigga got ice skates on his motherfucking eyes, nigga. The shit is thick. <laughs> the chin is freaking me out. We got to switch the picture. That chin is an ugly chin, man. That's that, that butt chin. Huh? His chin is ugly. His whole face ugly. Look at those glasses. Oh my goodness, man! We seen his face for real, and I guess he was on the old five vote. That shit, his eye was swiggling, his eye was Harlem shaking. I was like, "What is this?" He had the courage though to go with his face like that. Man, that nigga's a fucking whole clown. He should have had this. like this picture is a better picture than how he went on live on a channel. Like that shit was disturbing. Like who is this guy? He should have. He should have. He should have put the motherfucking. He should have put this picture up then. He should have let the niggas know, put that information up that he did this shit to his uh that he did this shit to his motherfucking his uh his daughter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nigga look retarded. That nigga, that nigga, man, he mad as he gonna do another video on you today. On who? <laughs> he did a video on me. You and Jimmy P. He ain't do no video on me. <laughs> Nobody will believe you, nigga. We not even in the same tax bracket, nigga. You still down here. Look at that like, shit. That shit, he said his conviction stemmed from an incident in which he dragged his daughter down a hallway of the school. If he could drag his daughter, imagine what he do to his the bitch he fucking with. In an effort to take her, despite her protest, to an appointment at a mental health facility, a teacher witnessed it. Like, he ain't give a fuck about none of that shit. Like, he did that shit. And the teacher seen that shit. She was telling him she didn't want to go. He grabbed Yeah, he probably was putting her in there because of um, what she was saying to the teachers. Yeah, that's why he was trying to make it seem like she... Yeah, he was like, fuck that. You want to run your mouth about what's going on in this house? I'm going to put you in a mental institution. That's fucked up. That's a fucked up person, yo. Yeah, and that's what he did. He tried to make make it seem like nobody going to believe you because I'm going to say that, you know what I mean, you got mental issues. Nigga, well, you could have went to the mental institution because you the one with the mental institution. Mental. He mental. Oh, my God. So she grown now. She got mm -hmm. from a 40-year-old man. She 20. See, you know what? She, 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 he, and, and you know what? It starts at home. Shit like that starts at home. Mm -hmm. I'm instead of being in a relationship with DVR. Yeah, shit like that start at home. When you're, when your child displaying that type of behavior, like, nigga, you're a coward. You let your fucking daughter have a fucking, like, she got two kids by a man 40 years old. And what? She got, you got, you got to, you got to remember. She carried these babies at least nine months. So give or take, she was at least 18 when this nigga was at least 38 years of age. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, he found his child. Yeah, and, and but this bitch ass nigga, like what did he do about it though? His punk ass, he on YouTube. He on Who YouTube. knows? It probably was his friend. It probably was his friend. Them niggas is weird, bro. 
He don't know what the fuck going on with his daughters in his house. He's busy. No, he know. He know. He's full aware of what's going on. Hartford, Connecticut is small. He know what the fuck going on. There's no way you don't know what's going on. Everybody knows everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like he knew what the fuck she was doing. And he just didn't give a fuck then. He didn't give a fuck because at the end of the day, if my daughter dating a grown ass nigga, my husband gonna beat that nigga ass. What the fuck? That's a like, we we the same age. Like what the fuck? Wish you would be thirty eight years old around my fucking daughter, nigga. Eighteen. You shouldn't even be around your, my daughter. My yo, your daughter should be. You know the shit yeah. he be popping. She should knowledge, knowledge. She she should have been in college. Yeah, but that's why he said it was cool. For a fifteen year old that to have sex with an eight year old girl, you feel what I'm saying? Like he said that was cool. He said I was getting freaky with it. What? Yeah, he said he said his fifteen year old son was gonna have sex with an eight year old girl, and he was about to get freaky with it. Yeah, he got some mental issues. I don't, I don't, but that shit weird. Like that nigga, like you're a weirdo, bro. Yeah, he talking about you're a weirdo. He said he said let him get freaky with it, and then he said something about a fucking. 15 year old boy engaging in an activity with an eight year old girl. But if he's talking like that, imagine what he has done. You get what I'm saying? Like, imagine what he has done as a 15 year old boy. Everybody need to be like, imagine the family members in his family. They probably, you know, uh, allegedly, something happened. Yeah, he, yeah, he, he, and then, the, and then the nigga 38 ain't got no respect for the nigga because nigga, like you, I wish a, a nigga ain't even try to come around my daughter. Come around me, nigga. What the fuck wrong with you? You down in my age, nigga. What the fuck wrong with that's you? that's the person that you in the family that you don't want them to. You don't want to leave your kids around. Yeah, he, yeah. It ain't nothing that knowledge won't do. Knowledge definitely. And then you know, but he got he got all the, he got all the traits on paperwork about being some type of predator because he done been to jail for you know uh, the, the 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 sexual assault shit. Then he got this shit right here with his daughter. And then she got a baby by a man that's 40. She 20. You feel what I'm saying? Like, that nigga knowledge crazy. That's so sad. That's sad. It's not even funny. Like, that shit is sad. That's that's some sad shit. And to come on the internet and act like everything is good, like, you need to focus on what's going on at home. <laughs> he going, yeah, he, he don't want, he, he want to dox. He, he forgot to tell. Fucking talk about, nigga. Ugh. What he made a video about me and Jimmy P. We wasn't even talking about that nigga. <laughs> That's why I can't go on your channel, wax AP. Stop be laughing yeah. like that. That shit not funny, bro. <laughs> no, his country ass ain't making no video, but I just know that shit. I'm about to say, like, I do not want his ass to be up on my heels. I don't got time for that because, like, it's no point. Like, I'm about to argue with the glass. <laughs> <laughs> He got bulletproof joints on him. You know how you go to the checks, cash and shit, and they got that thick ass glass. That's what you got. Yeah. I'm convinced that nigga just took and made them shits. <laughs> hey, he yeah. said niggas ain't gonna shoot me in my eye though. I'ma still be able to see. Fuck that. <laughs> this, that nigga really wanna see the screen with them shits. Those them prison joints. They make they make they make license plates in them glasses right there, man. Big them ass. shits is retardedly <laughs> sickening. Like them shits is like who fucking would want to wear those shits? Like you should have <laughs> stepped up. How long you been out of jail and you ain't step up to a new pair of glasses? <laughs> like you ain't step up to a new pair of glasses, bro. Like you're struggling, man. You need to lay off the internet, bro. This shit ain't working. You know, lay off the internet and, and pay his baby his baby girl some attention. She, he, the baby girl is lost. She's already done here. She she twenty years old. We can save her though. No, she can't save. We can't save her. <laughs> Why you say? Don't her? save her. She don't want to be safe. Hey, wait a minute. We can save the baby now. We can. She's not a baby. That's a woman now. She had two kids, bro. She's a woman. Yeah. Well, you know, she can't be saved, but she can um talk about her testimony and talk about her story so she can save other kids. She could be doing some saving, but she she got to make right choices at this point. It ain't no saving now. When you a grown ass woman, you got to start making the right choices. Yeah, but that shit you got to fault that shit. That's just with her. That shit started at home, bro. She had she there was a lack of parenting, a lack of 
love, a lack of everything. You never know. She probably was getting, let me not go there, but you never know what was going on at home. Like, for her to even be talking to the school, that right there, like, come on, kids don't, like, especially kids from the hood, they don't give a fuck, they get their ass, but they ain't telling no teacher. Like, they, she's talking to the school, so that means other stuff was going on. Yeah, she probably was telling them that he was, oh, yeah. Yeah. She probably you get was, it? Yeah. Definitely, I definitely get it. I definitely. I ain't gonna it. say it, but at I, the end of the I, day, only I, a child that's gonna go to school and tell people. Because I worked at a school before. I was um, I'm a governance council at uh, Montessori school, and they and the kids that come, something else is going on in that home. So that's why they telling. All right, and then what he did was try to cover it up, like, oh, she lied on me. I'm gonna put her in a mental institution because it probably was done with his ass when he was young. Right. And right. He, like if she was so crazy and this and that, they could have they could have got her from the school and, and, and transported her if her school agreed with that. Right. Our school didn't agree with that. Right. He wanted to just do it because he wanted to just do it to cover his ass about what really was going on in the home. Because there's no way a 20 year old is going to let a 40 year old fuck them or do something to them if they haven't been molested before by older men. By older men, fact. That's a fact. They're going to be like, what? You weird. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you like somebody older than you, you something happened. Something happened. Yeah, that's a fact. Because she like older men and in the household with a motherfucking dad like him who don't let you have friends, don't let you go outside, don't even let you watch TV. She the only man. He the only man that she around. So you don't know what, uh -huh. he, you don't know what he done did. You don't know what he had did, and then for him to just like go to school and drag her, you was mad more at her. You wasn't even mad at the situation. You wanted to physically touch your daughter. Why? What did she have to say? What was she been saying? Yeah, he didn't want the truth to get out. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, he felt like she was going to expose the other shit that was going on. Right, and at this point, you don't know. It could be him. It could be the person, the woman, because molestation is not just with men; it's with women too. Right. I don't never cut it off, as you know. Like women are nasty too. Yeah, that's 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 that's. Yeah, women, women, women. A lot of the shit with women in this bullshit it happens in the school system. There's more right. reported in school systems with women sexually assaulting kids. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Even like um cross guards and stuff. You get right. what I'm saying? Like I experienced that with a cross guard. You know what I'm saying? That's why I don't let my kids take no bus or walk home or nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it was a, a you know, I'm not gonna tell my business, but it's out there. You know what I'm saying women, I don't trust bitches at all because bitches can influence your kid. Bitches can put something in your drink and have your kid lined up or have you fucked up or you don't never know so i don't trust bitch i don't trust humans at all with my kids because it don't matter if it's a male or a female it don't mean that they can't everybody watch players club right they drugged her and she was eating that bitch pussy right right yeah you gotta you gotta watch this nigga knowledge this nigga knowledge is scumbag this nigga knowledge this nigga yeah, is it's definitely it's definitely disgusting it's definitely it disgusting. is disgusting because you talk all this shit. You made your name knowledge, and your ass don't got knowledge about what's going on in your home. Yeah, but how the fuck does something like this happen in your household? And then she got two babies by a nigga that's forty years old. She twenty. Fuck it, I believe, like for me coming from Harper, I believe that nigga been in the home. That shit is small. There's no way you don't know that a nigga. Fucking the forty. Everybody knows everybody. Like, or I, or they know of the person. Like, how you don't know? So was you home? You be home every day. So you had to be home. You probably didn't give a fuck because that nigga bought you some cigarettes and Lucy's in a bottle. You sold your door <laughs> out for Lucy's in the. <laughs> First, it, it go down though. It's it's not funny because that shit go down. But Lucy's a, Lucy, some gas to your car, some food, some EDT. Niggas let anything slide because at the end of the day, if they don't love their own child, then how they how they gonna protect them? Well, you heard this nigga on his internet talking about he 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 approved of his fifteen year old son having sex with an eight year old girl, and he want his son to get freaky with it. He probably uh, R. Kelly a Harper, man.
Yeah, he definitely got some. He definitely got some of that shit in his system. Because yeah, know. he probably the R Kelly or heartbreak. Cause niggas, every time I ask, they be like, I can't believe that nigga talking like that. That nigga be in the church, like they like don't play that nigga no mind. He be in front of Green Apple on Farmington Avenue. I know where he at, his location, car drive, everything. Niggas tell me they like don't work. That nigga's a weirdo. Like you would waste your time on that. That's crazy. Yeah, he just I don't, I don't I don't I know them niggas ain't real. It's just the, the disgusting shit that these niggas be fucking doing, and they got so much fucking baggage in their motherfucking closet and bones. But want to judge somebody else? Yeah, this nigga whole go to his daughter's school, grab her by her hair and arm, and drag her down the class. Drag her just because she telling your secrets in your house, there shouldn't be no shit in your house, nigga. Yeah, he wanted to make her look like she was crazy. She it's not like she said, oh, my parents drink, or my parents do this, or my parents do that. She ain't saying shit like that. She said something for you to go down there and go drag her down the hallway. Like, right there. Like, that's crazy. In the school, that means you ain't give a fuck if she was took it or not. You was like, let me speed this shit up. Yeah. Bitch ass nigga. But he want to get up here and talk about everybody else. This nigga crazy as hell, nigga. This nigga, this nigga crazy as hell. Not he got me. mental issues. Yeah, he got mental issues. Not what you I believe, that. like, if we could figure out, I feel like he get a check. I don't know how we could figure that out, but I know he get a check. I know he's on that board. Yeah, you know, you know, he get a check. He need, he need a fucking check. Mm -hmm. he, he need a you check. You can tell he get a check because at the end of the month he go real crazy because the money ain't there. The beginning of the month he be on some positive shit. Who knows? Yeah, 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 he, he got to get a fucking check. That nigga just sit around and 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 be on YouTube and and be trying to. I don't know what's up with this nigga, but he knew something was going on with this nigga. But I didn't know he went to school and did this crazy nut ass shit. <laughs> mm. Yeah, he's off his mind. He shouldn't be talking about nobody. Look, sis, and then the nigga represented himself, right? So it's a. He also, He's an idiot. Yeah, look, it said he also attempted to testify directly about her aggressive behavior at home. His difficulty managing that his efforts to obtain mental health treatment for her leading to the incident. Um, the prosecutor, however, mm -hmm. repeatedly objected to his, to this opening and the trial court sustained many of the other objections. So he was trying to Every time he was trying to say something to let the court know what was going on, the, the prosecutor said objection. And he tried to tell the judge, but I need, and the judge said sustain. The judge didn't want to hear nothing that that nigga had to say. How the fuck no, you know because that? what happened <laughs> is, what happened was the school made a file and they brought that to the case. That's what happened. They, whatever she said in that school and she'd been saying in that school was already documented because the social worker at the school has to document those things. So that was pushed right there. So they didn't want to hear that shit. They definitely didn't want to hear that shit. Oh, so he was doing some nasty, disgusting shit. In the yeah, house. like, oh, she was aggressive at home. Maybe she was fighting you off of her. Not to say that, <laughs> but like, come on. Yeah, hell yeah. You know you got that you got that prison motherfucker mentality. Yeah. Right. Like you probably fucking go him over washing some dishes. You got a whole bitch in the house. She need to wash some dishes too. Like, come on, that's your daughter. Like, come on. Nah, he told her it's count time. Nah, he ain't locked up. That nigga on fucking YouTube every day. That nigga on YouTube every day talk about docs and this, that, that, this. But he don't want to talk about this shit. There's, he there's, don't want to dox himself. Like you dox me, nigga. You want to see a lot of shit. You be like, if she's a real one, <laughs> for real, like real shit, my nigga. I done said shit you would want to do, nigga. Crazy. All you want to see is a whole bunch of different lace frontals when they came out, cause <laughs> uh, side ponytails and bangs, nigga. Nails done. Gel pictures was nice. Fuck is you talking about? Because I was coming home. I had buy money. Your ass going over there to represent yourself. You already retarded. You don't represent yourself, you dummy. Stupid ass nigga. Nigga, you ain't even graduated from high school. How you gonna represent yourself, nigga? They ain't wanna hear shit. That nigga tried to represent himself. They said objection. He was like, hey, but they said objection. He was like, but let me. They said objection. <laughs> they couldn't take them glasses. They seen the reflection of them. They was like, hell no. 
You said the oh, you said the glasses, the glasses. Yeah, look- the glasses turned them off, nigga. They was like this retarded ass nigga. Cause if you look, you could look like pedophile shit. Um, in Connecticut, you could look, and he just looked like he fits the description. They have to take a picture and shit. Not nigga, nigga fix it. Fucking glasses thick as hell, like window uh, uh visiting glasses in a jail cell. Look yeah, that, that nigga is a book of tea. Mark <laughs> T book of tea. Niggas an old nigga. He thought he was in the cornfield and shit. Like, I'm just going, yay, cub. She ain't going to snitch on me, nigga. Like, she already <laughs> told, nigga. She told to the school. <laughs> in a black family home, that's she the code no matter what's shit. going on. Don't go to the school and tell shit. Whatever, stay at home, stay at home. She broke that code because you was doing something. Yeah, he was doing something. She was trying to get help, nigga. He was trying to get help. She was tired of looking at that face. She already got to look at that face in the mirror. She was like, fuck that. And then she fought, and then she got two kids, about 40 year old. That's, That's sad. That's that sad. could be the thing. He knows them. They around the, he he knows these little niggas. He's older than them. He knows these niggas. Oh, that's that's sad, bro. He's a bitch ass nigga that he allowed a nigga to violate his daughter and disrespect him. Like that nigga crazy as hell. He allowed them glasses to violate his fucking face and that fucking booty ass chin. So imagine. You said he still got stickers. He got two stickers on his hat. What kind of stickers he got on his hat? That's Those what the broke niggas do because they want to say, I bought it, I bought it. Nigga, they probably bought that shit from the bootleg, nigga. Fuck out of here. Yo, look, that's a fucking, that's a football, that's a baseball uh, sticker on that hat, and that's a fucking Chicago Bulls hat. Stop playing. No, I'm not fucking with you. <laughs> that's a Chicago <laughs> Bulls hat. He got a baseball uh, Allegedly, nigga, like, you be with the bullshit. Uh, nah, look, I'm looking at that shit now. I just looked at it. He got a, he got a, he got a, a major league baseball sticker up. On the Chicago Bulls. This nigga the type of nigga that will motherfucker buy the stickers and glue it on a shirt and shit and act like he wearing <laughs> Versace. Fuck him. This motherfucking hot and press nigga ass. <laughs> mm-hmm. You're a damn shame. That fucking chin is just scaring me. Yeah, he, he looked like he got a five o'clock shadow. He looked like Madea from the side. Like no, he don't. He don't. He look like a pile of shit. No, he really looks. Like Medea look better than that nigga. That nigga fucking. Yeah, I'm, I'm. I'm glad this little. I'm glad this girl got up out of that situation, boy. Hold up, she left him. He by himself. Hello. Hello. The fuck. Wax. I ain't talking with this nigga on the screen. I'm about to have no type of harassment. Mm-mm. He ain't about to tune up on me. Wax. Oh, my goodness. Wax. I'm gonna have to meet myself until that nigga come on. I'm gonna put the fuck. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So now wax going, and I'm about to be going because ain't nobody gonna be fucking fucking with this nigga. I got a phone call. I ain't going nowhere. I heard you. <laughs> I heard you crazy. I had got a phone call. Now, probably too many children. Yeah, he... <coughs> she crazy as hell. I, I was on the phone, Tommy. She crazy as hell. <laughs> hey, yo. Hey, yo. <laughs> nah, I got a phone call. I ain't doing shit today, man. Like I, I got time today. Told you between this this weirdo ass nigga right here. Shout out to my sis. Between this weirdo ass nigga right here, and like I say, that bitch ass nigga. That and, and that bitch ass nigga made the milk, man. I figured I was going, you know, 
these niggas be killing me. Y'all want somebody to fight for y'all, but y'all don't want to fight y'all own motherfucking battle. This nigga let a nigga straight disrespect him, put his hands in his face, tell him he was spitting in his face, talked all kind of shit to this bitch ass nigga. And then you want to get on the internet talk about the second go time go round and you want to call people out their name and y'all niggas is terrible you should have seen you shadow boxing nigga i told you, you look like you was fucking jumping rope you was a fucking a 230 pound bitch ass nigga nigga that's what the what's well, up we not playing them type of games nigga fuck out of here bro mm -hmm. i had got, got a call crazy <laughs> no, fuck that. You crazy. You you the Mr. Setup, nigga. You the Mr. Setup. Niggas yeah, gonna be over there like, you's the big back, bitch. Hartford, Connecticut, nobody fucking knows you. Fuck you, bitch, bitch, and bitch, and bitch, and bitch, and bitch. Yeah, but that's all he gonna say. But he need to be talking about this, though, since he want to talk about something, nigga. Get you something to talk about. Let you talk about that, nigga. You want something to talk about, nigga. Crime a wrist injury to a child. Nigga, do you know you get your ass whooped for that shit? Yeah. He oh, fucking nigga up. He know that. He know that. He knows that. That shit crazy. Like, mm -mm, people crazy. That's why I had to move out of there. Motherfuckers is weird, right? But see, see, the thing is, nobody in Hartford knows that he's on here. So that's why he can run his mouth like that. Nobody gives a fuck. Nah, he said he was that nigga. He was that nigga that wasn't doing shit. The only thing I heard that... He used to, sorry, my husband fixing a car. Hold up. I'm bringing this down real fast. Bring my garage door down. He's going to be using the grill. Only thing I heard about him is that he used to like be out there, but they, but not like that, like a, a short minute of time. Like all his cousins could die because one of them was a rat or some shit like that. Like, but it wasn't like, ex like it wasn't like, oh my God, Jews, don't disrespect this nigga. That's nigga. This, this is the real nigga. This is the nigga. Like I never heard that like that. I was like, oh yeah, we know him, but. He a church type of dude or you know like when i showed them the videos it was like i can't believe that's him bro i talked mm -hmm. like that mm -hmm. so he's not like his life is on here it's really like really on here and in the real world in the world he's not nothing that's why he comes on here and does what he does he can't never get um Nobody's going to step up to him. Real niggas ain't going to give a fuck. This is the internet. You feel me? Like, they, what's the point? Like, this snitch-ass nigga, why would, like, what's the point, you know? But that nigga ain't right. That nigga ain't right. You going to put your daughter in a, a same asylum because she's telling about what's going on in the home? What's wrong with you? Hello? Oh my goodness. Here we go again. Here we go again. The charges is ridiculous. I don't like my shit. <laughs> uh, this is bad. So how was your day? It was good. I was just watching. I see the I see the feds just ran up in P. Diddy shit. You seen that? No, what happened? Play it. Let's talk about it. Is that's the yeah, since we on the pedophile watch right now? Yeah, that nigga, um, <clears throat> that nigga P Diddy. They just ran up in his house in in California and his crib and play Miami. it, play it, play it on your other different things so you're you're you know you can get some contact out of it because now we're talking about pedophiles and people weirdos in general. So we've been you don't got like. We've been talking about pedophiles and weirdos. We used to talk about that nigga. All right, don't be, don't, don't do it, Wax. I will come over there and slap the <laughs> shit out of you. Don't let me <laughs> fucking play with me, nigga. Yeah. I'm just saying, we've been talking about them and their behavior. You feel me? Behavior. So they, they went in the Diddy house and what happened? Like, what did they find anything or they just raided him? They raided. So, from what I was watching, was. <clears throat> They executed a raid on both houses simultaneously. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know if he was there. I don't know if he wasn't. 
I know they were speaking about hard drives. They were speaking about electronical devices, and allegedly, mm. yes, allegedly somebody, some they had some some information that was credible because the feds just don't execute those type of warrants without motherfucking. Well, contact. that rapper, that dude that been uh, made that third lawsuit. Remember, he said that Diddy did a lot to him. He had a lot of information. Diddy didn't want to uh, settle his thing. I think it was him because he said a lot of information like this rapper dude. He was like he, he was like, you know, Diddy was like oh, if you do this with me or he'll get him drunk and have girls on him and then Diddy would try to, you know, get a little zesty zesty on. Like he said a lot and he said he know a lot. He's been in the circle for a long time. So let me ask, let me ask you a question just from your personal <clears throat> just from mm -hmm. your, your personal opinion. Um I got my own opinion with it. I'm actually yours. Do you think at any point that R. Kelly went back and said, you know what? He told the federal government he was going to assist them. He knew of some heinous crimes. You think he ever did some shit like that? I think that R. Kelly is singing whatever way. If he's singing for motherfucking child hall, he's singing for the police too. Like, come on, this nigga, this nigga calling people house. They have him calling people house and singing to their daughters in jail. So I feel like he's singing all the way around. He said he believes he could fly. He's flying with the motherfucking snitching right now. And I feel like it ain't really snitching because these are people that are getting hurt. And if you're going to try to set yourself free, like at the end of the day, that nigga never getting out. It would be better for him to get his soul right so at least you know some type of change will come out of this because right now he going straight to hell yeah people got that word snitching they got that shit they got that shit missing school they got that shit fucked up bro. i don't think that you gotta do a molestation like nah. when we, i'm saying it like telling we gotta we gotta we gotta use the full vocabulary of um of the English language because snitching is snitching meaning drugs, um, robbery, um, criminal shit like that. Criminal activity you played a part in, and your your, your homeboy got away, and you got caught, or right. niggas, niggas having knowledge of some shit, they get locked. Right. Up some but some it's people put the criminal activity into oh we fucking did this shit to a bitch, and he told no no nigga you is a rapist nigga. Right. You a rapist. That's like anybody could snitch. Nigga, nigga, anybody could tell. Listen, if you ain't gonna put that nigga under the dirt and you ain't gonna kill that nigga yourself, then you have to tell. Somebody gotta do it. Cause best believe if something happened in front of me, if I'm not gonna put that nigga in the dirt and go willingly to jail and I got money like that to do that, then I have to tell somebody because this has to stop. Even if I whoop that nigga ass, there's a lot of parents like this dude, this parent, he had this dude watching his son. His son told him that he was molesting him. This nigga beat him barely dead and then called the police and they let him go. He didn't do no time. He said, I had to do it. Like, I couldn't take it. I couldn't take, like, that information coming to me and me sitting with it. I had to whip that nigga ass. That's why I say white knowledge born ain't whip that nigga ass. Then when she had pregnant by a 40-year-old, like, that, it, I don't know. When you love your kid and you got that... It, there's no way that you could control yourself. I swear to God, if a roach hit my kid, I'm stop a, a fucking fly. I don't give a fuck what that shit is. I might be scared by myself, but when I'm a fuck come to my child, I'm killing that shit. Even though I gotta pop that shit, I close my eyes and smoke your ass. Real shit. I'm one of those. I yeah, I'm the one. I I will close my eyes and smoke your ass. And I always get my head, nigga. Because I don't want what to do to you. I don't want to do that shit to you. But it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? But if you're not standing up, then the, the law has to be standing up. Something got to stand up for these kids. Right. Right. I mean, you got to protect the kids. And I definitely agree with that. But I feel like people be jealous. Like, they be jealous or they got a hatred. They like, oh, nobody protected me. So, man, that's what happens. And I don't like them type of niggas. But that's why I don't have my kids play with nobody. Kids, I don't got my kids. No, no, no. Like somebody um knocked on my door. I'm like, I don't know nobody. Why people knocking on my door? You're like, oh, my kid play with your kid. Can I borrow a jack? Nigga, I just close the door. Like, you crazy. <laughs> like, I had to have a conversation with my son. Like, why the fuck is you playing with niggas' kids? Like, I bought all this shit for you to play. I didn't buy the shit. If they parents want their kids to play with that shit, they gotta work hard to play with that shit. Because my shit broken and your shit broken. Ain't none of these niggas gonna come and pay for this shit. They not.
Niggas, they need to take care of their kids, yo. I hate that shit. Like, niggas don't want to take care of their kids. They want to leave it to the school system. They want to pick their kids up and not ask, talk to their kids, do nothing with their kids, take their kids out, nothing. Some parents, yeah, they buy the nice outfits, but their kids, they don't have no nothing with their kids. Like, if you don't ask your kids how they doing every day while they under your household, and or even when they out under, if you don't call your kids at least once a day or talk to them once a day, and that's the bare minimum, Nigga, you crazy. Some people don't even love their motherfucking selves. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm and that's why I say it'd be jealousy. Of, it'd be jealousy. Like, I feel like a lot of these kids, even with the rap game, a lot of these old niggas, they just give it up, nigga. Let these young niggas do it. Like, niggas got niggas still want to live their best life, bro. Niggas still want to be young. That's why they say the 40s is the new 20s, this and that. Motherfucker, you get old, nigga. Shut your old ass up and <laughs> motherfucker paved the way. They still saying 40 to new 20? I don't know what the fuck these niggas saying, but I don't know why niggas is saying that shit. Like, nigga, you get old. When you go to the doctor, the doctor ain't gonna say that. <laughs> they gonna be like, nigga, you need to get a prostate. Um, Look, nigga. Yeah. Nigga. <laughs> so please, like, all that <laughs> shit, I feel like a lot of people... Hmm? No, I said I, I said, I'm listening at you. I feel like a lot of a lot of older people be jealous of the youth. Them, they be jealous of the youth. Them, you feel me? Like the youth to pick me. You know what I'm saying? They be so jealous. Like, why are you jealous? Like, you know, like why are you jealous of a nigga? Like, you can help them. You could be part of their growth. That's your fault. You ain't looking good when you older, nigga. That ain't nobody fault. You had control of your body. You had your body since day one, nigga. You look rusty and you mad because a bitch. Like, nah, like, I'm cool with all of it. You feel me? A pretty little young girl, handsome young nigga. I'm like, oh, you look all right. All right. I, I prop them up. Niggas be hating. Niggas want to hate. Like, your white tea ain't never going to fit like that no more, my nigga. His uh -huh. shit is young, 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 nigga. You trying to step in places, then they get to the point where these older niggas looking up to these young niggas. Like, you dumb as fuck. Doesn't make sense, bro. That's How bad. you looking up to a young nigga? Oh, that's my guy. That's like my father. Like, how old are you, nigga? Hold up. Let's... Niggas be like, that's my guy. Call Hold up, y'all. I gotta lift up my garage. Big, door. big bro and everything. <laughs> What? Call the young nigga big bro and anything. Yeah, I be like, oh, mental health is for real. Like, mental health is for real, yo. I grew up in a time where when you was older, you knew you couldn't even sit at the table with these niggas. You had to look through a crack to see what they doing. You feel niggas be gambling in the back. They be like, oh, hell no. You had to be a special nigga to get in the back. Like, these niggas don't come from that time because the older people are trying to be young and we're in confusion. So we have different levels now. It's stupid, smart, or intelligent. Fuck the age. On some real shit, you see some young bitches old as hell, still going out and this and that. Like, bitch, you ain't never been on a yacht yet. You still want to go to fucking the fucking shoot 'em up club <laughs> and still be mad because a nigga stepped on your shoe, bitch? I go on a yacht. I go somewhere else. I go on a picnic. Fuck it, and my shoes be clean after, nigga. I don't gotta worry about nobody bumping at me with a cigarette or you know burning shit. Like, no. <laughs> niggas is crazy. If I go out, gotta be some food there, nigga. I need a I need a food. I need this and that. We need the, you know, I need a whole thing. Like the bitches still going out. Then after they looking for a nigga to buy them some breakfast in the morning, the nigga that buy them breakfast, they say, man, you better get up them cheeks, or you better get up them cheeks in the future. Is this corny? Yes, Kalinda. Yeah, well. Wow. I know if you're gonna be, I know if you're gonna be in your daughter's lives. I know you don't need to be doing okay. shit that this nigga did. I know that. Right. I can imagine how he treat. I can imagine how yeah. he treat that goddamn dog, beaver face ass Nicolette. Hold up! If y'all start arguing over it, put it down. Don't be asking me random stuff. Y'all know I'm on this shit. This is the new weed right here. Wax a for you, nigga. <laughs> Niggas in the garage and shit. Like, uh, uh. I'm good. I've known how to move mentally and physically straight up. I would mind I made 
to move that body like an engine on a car needs to to tuned up. Ooh, who talking like that? Sis. Monique. Okay. Mm-hmm. But you will never be 15 no more. And as long as well niggas know, like you will never be 15 no more. You will never be 60. You, will, you are the age you are. Like when people be like, how old are you? I don't be scared to say that. This is like, like, I'm happy to get here. You know what I mean? Niggas didn't make it here. You know how many people fucking is burning and can't even have kids or, you know, niggas got died. Niggas got cancer. Like, like, nigga, I made it here. I am fine to be my age, bro. I'm fine to have all my kids. I'm happy. I'm fine to still be with my nigga. I'm fine, nigga. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> dice, pull up, Dice. Oh, uh, who Dice? That's my bro. Big Dice. I, I ain't that fucking bro. You was just talking about this shit, niggas. Ain't no. No, because Let me stop fucking with you. You know I'm fucking with you. I gotta remind myself this is not the a phone. Lot, so a lot of these dudes, lot of these dudes um, I left my thought um, process on about these dudes because I, I don't, you know what I mean. But mm, it is what it is with some of them. Some yeah. dudes is crazy, man. But but what people gotta realize, listen. Anybody's my bro on here, bro. I don't give a fuck up. What, Jimmy P? Everybody, bro. Yes, everybody, bro. But in real life, That's nigga, bro. know your place. That's bro. Is, is that bro? I, what are you talking about? I'm not looking at that picture, bro. I got the earplugs in. I'm not fucking with you. He's somebody, bro. He's somebody, bro, out here. He got people listening to him. It's fake world. It don't mean nothing. Then nigga don't have no life in real life. Like, I don't give a fuck what you is on the screen. Niggas to have a billion subscribers and be lonely in real life. They don't have nothing that loved them. You feel me? Like, that's where it really come out. I don't give a fuck about none of this shit because at the end of the day, if you fucking lonely and you gotta go, you gotta go on the screen for niggas to talk to you and shit. Like, oh, I'm up tonight, late night. Like, nigga, Go to bed. You don't got shit to do in the morning. You ain't making no money like this. Cause niggas can't tell me that YouTube is making millions unless I see the platform look different. If I keep on seeing your platform look different and shit is going on and new different caliber of money stylists is coming on, that means we're going somewhere. But I'm not convinced by these niggas. So I love the drama. I love it. I love the clout. Sometimes I got to back up off of it because it's not good for my spirit. But sometimes I tap in. But do I believe every nigga on this shit? No, I don't. This is the fucking TV. This is entertainment. If y'all start switching up, I'm going to be mad. Like, oh, hell no, nigga. Y'all better get back to this shit. No, it ain't gonna, it's going to always be. I mean, some certain niggas is real with it. They just straddling the fence. Um, Other niggas is, is on some straight, like, fraud shit, some straight makeup shit. So I'm saying. I don't believe... I don't just I just look at niggas like differently. You feel what I'm saying? Like I'm just looking niggas different. Yeah, but you supposed to. I'm a whole female. Like what I'm gonna say, you know, you a whole nigga. Y'all know how y'all be with each other. I don't know. It's entertainment to me. Yeah, I'm the cheerleader, bro. I'm the cheerleader and depending on the each situation, man. You might say some crazy shit, but like, bro, I gotta tap out. I don't wanna be part of that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you want to say they don't get this, they don't get this clip, nigga. Blood, nigga. That's true. Oh, I would love to see P. Diddy in handcuffs, y'all. Word to everything that would make my day. I'd be like, Jesus, I'll fucking put, I have to do a little stop. I mean, mm -hmm. Why you want to see Pete Diddy in handcuffs? Because his fake ass. He been fucking Clive Davis for so long. Like, the only reason why he got that, that fucking deal is because he fucked the white man. And then what he did, because he fucked the white man, he want niggas to do what he did to... See, pedophile, her people hurt people. He has molested people and hurt people because that was done to him. You know what I'm saying? He needs help. He needs to get handcuffs and he needs some mental shit because when you get so much money and, you know, you can be there in the low scale. You get what I'm saying? Like, I don't make so much money. I give a fuck about a person's opinion when I was out there younger. I looked the good. I knew the top ballers. I didn't give a fuck. Nigga, I didn't give a fuck about you. I can do whatever. And he, he has a lurk. He, the God, for some reason, he hasn't been brought down. Yes. Right, so let me Everybody that died. Though. He killed his fucking wife, bro. He killed his fucking baby mother, bro. Had the casket two weeks before she died. That's a dirty nigga, bro. No, he needs to be a handcuff. 
You said he killed her. Yo, he bought that lady, his the, the, the mother of the twins. If you look it up, he bought her casket two weeks before she died. I don't think he two did. weeks. Yeah, I don't think he did. Man, listen, so look, you buy somebody casket two weeks before they died and they ain't even sick yet. That's crazy to me. Okay, Wax AP, I'm going to buy your casket right now. Now, I can understand, like, my grandma, she bought all her kids, um, she got money, um, like, she got money for the, they, where they're going to get buried at. She bought all they lot so they can get buried next to her. I can understand that. But when you decorate a casket and have it already picked out two weeks before a nigga die, you don't got the brain to be like, what? Yeah, but I don't. Uh, Let's yeah, break it so down in small yeah, context, yeah, yeah, right? You know what? Yeah, but you know, all right. So, all right, the reward would be the money, right? The insurance money. But how much insurance money is he gonna get, and is it worth the risk him getting insurance money for? It's her? worth the risk because the the lady, God bless my mouth, the lady so. was writing a tell all book about shit, and everybody time somebody write a tell all book around him, they die. Look at yeah. all the people that have been around him. I got enough of a love for you, baby. He died. He he owed half of the half of the record label. Everybody. Everybody has died or has been sick. The only person left is the nigga. What? Yeah, but I just, I mean, sometimes things happen and then sometimes niggas force the issue. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm not, I, so first of all, let me say this. Let me say this. I don't want you to think I'm going on a P. Diddy defense team, right? I'm saying the only reason I ask why, because I, I understand if it right? was any but nigga it, in the it, world, it, but it, that it, nigga it, right it, there. That yeah, nigga right my, there. My thing is, go ahead, right, you, go made, ahead. You, made, you made that allegation right there, right? You made an allegation about the Kim Porter thing, right? All right. So other than the Kim Porter thing, right? What else? What else do you got against him, like you? All right. What else we got against him? You know, you got to start off with the Biggie Small and Tupac situation. He was the part. He he set them niggas up, right? Um. Then you got to go with the way his his, his um. Hold up. I'm sorry, y'all. Gotta get the money. Um, one more time. All right. So, um, yeah. So, okay. So you got that the intention of him. He still ain't get no money to Biggie mother, nothing. He don't do, he don't give no money. He wasn't giving people money. You get what I'm saying? Like and he's kept the money. He makes money off of that nigga. That's another thing. That just show how he is, bro. He's a filthy ass nigga. Besides only that, there's mad people like the 16 year old girl that came out. There's mad allegations of him doing shit like that. You know what I'm saying? You like what he did to girl. Shine. What he did to Shine, he know he fucking shot that bitch. But he he blamed it on Shine. You get what I'm saying? The rapper. Like he uses people. He had that um dude sucking his dick, bro. What's his oh, name? I can't even come up with the I thing. Know. I don't even know his name. All right, but he had and the and the girl that was um told like you know he fired the girl that seen it because she walked in the office. You got to do your research to know everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. but he he's a filthy nigga, and I feel I like saw. if anybody that touch a child, anybody that um not touch a touch that's molesting people, you get what I'm saying? They should be dealt with. They should be dealt with. No matter how it was dealt with. I don't go for some people, people putting put drinks that people, you know, like he was fucking with Usher, molesting him. All right. So my, my thing with that is, if I, I and, and this with no exception, anybody who violates a child, you understand what I'm saying, in a manner that's inappropriate, they need to be dealt with. You feel what I'm saying? Um, if it has to be through, uh, through the system, the court system, so be it. But if a nigga and the street catch their ass and handle them, then so mm -hmm. you feel me? Right. Like, I'm against all that. All right. The whole thing with um like uh, the allegations that they saying with him and Meek Mills and them other dudes, if them niggas is into that shit, I personally don't give a fuck. You feel what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. I, You're yeah, right. Them, like me personally, but it, even so, if, if them niggas is into that shit, you feel what I'm saying? He still didn't violate 
break any laws by doing that bullshit. You feel what I'm saying? Like, nobody is agreeing with the shit that he was doing, him and them niggas was doing, how they was partying and all that. It was queer, those shit. You feel what I'm saying? But in the same token, he didn't violate, break any laws with them niggas wanting to be into that type of shit, though. You feel what I'm saying? So, <laughs> if he did something to For me, kid, it's just them doing too many sacrifices to get what you want, because I'm one of those. It's like, you, w beginning of your career, you knew the place wasn't going to be um right for them kids, and he, a lot of kids, son popped off, and kids died. It's just death around him, and he always wins with the money, and he's, I just feel like he's in a different world, and he thinks he's a god, and I feel like he needs to be brought down. I would love to see him in handcuffs because it's a lot of talk and a lot of speculations and once you in handcuffs then it's court document that we can read the truth if he wins he wins if he don't he don't but at least the public eye will see the truth about what he's really done yeah but he see he, if he he doing that scumbag shit and they did they, if, if him and all them rap niggas if they into that word that weirdo bullshit that's I don't care. I agree with you. Yeah. I agree with you. But what I'm saying is this. Law. If, he, if, he, if he did anything to any minor, you feel what I'm saying? If right. He, and, and, and then as far as the business shit, like it was nasty. He had he got a nasty um he got a he have a nasty profile as far as his business because the shit with the locks, the shit with baby, right. That's what I'm saying. Baby. I just want to see I want to see the like, truth. I want to see the truth. And the only way we're going to hear the truth is when a nigga locked up big like that. That nigga been paying off everybody. And I think the only reason why they rated his shit was because they done with him. The music is just done. They done with him. People are done with him. People are done with him. You can't, you could be the toughest nigga in the hood and do all this shit, but somebody gonna come for you one day and they sometimes it be done for you. Niggas don't give a fuck. They not, there's no more fear in their heart. You know what I'm saying? They don't give a fuck. What? Training day, remember? He was in the jungle. He thought he was still hard. And niggas said, we don't give a fuck. We gonna let this white nigga take you out, bro. We done with you. It's time for you to go. Your time has passed. I agree with you. I just feel like that's what that nigga is. Like, all I see is that nigga, like, on trade a day. Oh, I don't got shit on me. <laughs> I can't go. Yeah, I want to see that shit in the courtroom. That nigga mm -hmm. dancing. Every nigga video. That nigga, like, that nigga need a downfall, nigga. That nigga deserve one. Why don't he deserve one? Yeah, that, What's that, so special about him that, that, that he don't that, deserve a downfall? What's so special about him that he don't? I don't think everybody got, deserves a downfall. I, I don't think I don't think everybody does it deserves a downfall. I think I think the motherfuckers who get what they got coming. I think certain people deserve certain things, but I don't think everybody deserves a downfall. All right, so basically I'm saying what you say different. I think that he deserved what is coming for him. And for me, I call it a downfall. Because at the end of the day, that shit gonna drop, nigga. And I feel like you are whatever you put in this world, you should get it back. And I, I'm not, I'm 100%, and, and it's not even about what I believe, it's what happens. When you do too much dirt, you're going to get it back. Whether you like it or not, you're going to fall into the habits that you motherfucking had, that you did. That shit going to trap you. Yeah, but if that nigga just being exposed for being a mook all his fucking life, and them I don't give a fuck about him being a mook. I don't give a fuck about him being a mook. That's what basically a lot of people talking about him and that that bullshit like a lot of nigga people, like, i give a fuck about if he fucking transfer young men fuck that minute, you old as fucking know. you transfer excuse me minute, you transfer minute, young you said, you said wait a minute wait a minute you said wait what happened with young kids and men listen they said that this nigga used to have take kids and uh, young people teenagers remember he got the sons so his sons can bring them young kids in you understand they said they used to be on the airplane for hours you know what I'm saying? They used to be molesting. Like, like you couldn't get out the plane. I need to hear if this shit is true. I need to know. Like, this shit crazy. Like, when you got money, a lot of secrets will be kept secrets, bro. But at the end of the day, whatever you do in the dark will come to the light. And I really want what to, it to come to light. Yeah, that's, that's some... Um... I ain't know nothing about none of that shit, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Like, Imagine you a little kid. Motherfucker say, we're about to go here. You so glamorized as P. Diddy, 17, 16, and now you on a plane, and the plane, you in the air for two hours. 
Then they bring you to a private island. You can't go nowhere. I bet you going to do what you got to do to hopefully pray that you get home. Like, come on. People used to send their kids to Diddy to go to Diddy camp, bro. They had Justin Bieber up there. Justin Bieber, like, I want to drive the car. He said, well, you going to have to work. You can look up all the shit. Like, people sent their kids. They're thinking, hoping it was a better. And then parents fought too, nigga. Because I ain't sending my kids to no motherfucking shit unless I'm there, nigga. If you don't want me there, then fuck you. How you like my kid more than I love my kid? That's weird. Out the gate. Man, that's one thing about my baby mom. I say, don't play that shit. My son ain't going nowhere. She ain't going to be there. She ain't playing that shit. Yo, this person said, like, um, I guess this girl had went, um, and I showed this to my kids so I could express how I feel. So the girl, this girl, she went to her first uh, sleepover at 20 years old. A uh, friend said, let me lower this down. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> it's okay. Do what you got to do. I'm just going to lower my garage. So... The girl said, when well, she went to her first, um, at 20 years old, she went to her first sleepover. She said, yeah, my parents were strict. Um, and they never let me old. And her friends all around the room said, I, you, your parents love you because when I was at this sleepover, this happened to me. Or I seen this. Or I was touched. Or this and that. You get what I'm saying? Like, so it's like, bro, like, Oh no! Then back in the day, people used to bring their kids to concerts and shit, and this was just too much. Like a lot of parents, they was they was they was not on point, yo. They were so glamorized, they were celebrity worshippers that they got these lot of little kids lost. Man, shit happened, bro. A lot of these kids growing up today, their fathers is fucking dead. Or in jail, their fathers are dead. right. Fathers and, and, and mothers and too, kids. though. Yeah, like when we was growing up, our dads was either on drugs or in jail, but they was alive. A lot of these kids that's growing up, their dad is dead. Like they, dad. a lot of them, but majority <laughs> is that they mothers and they mothers don't even know their fathers, or because the mother, yeah. you know, the, no, the mothers don't know their fathers, and and another one is because the mothers and the father have a disappoint, a dis a disagreement, and they separate and they say fuck. They don't. They say fuck each other. Then they can forget about that the kid was there. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people got parents. They got people that love them, and they don't want. They, it's a lot of hate with that. The niggas. Some people be like, oh, he don't love me no more, so I ain't gonna let you get the love that I want, and then be like on some fucked up shit. Like it's all different type of angles, bro. Nah, I seen. Yeah, that's co that co-parenting. Shit ain't supposed to be an issue though. Co no, I don't see it at all with that. That shit weird as hell. Like that shit so weird. Like niggas rather go take their kid, right? And what they not getting, bitches too. Like yo, when you go on a date or whatever, you know that you don't show no other person to your child. You trying to create a family, knowing that person got a parent. With the other, like, it's just weird. Like, niggas, like, still want, like, niggas is fucked up out here. Niggas don't care about the kid, bro. Yeah, it goes out. When the, when the relationship is over with, the, the being a parent and taking care of the kid is over with for some people. You know for some people, like, half people, like, it just be crazy. Like, why? Like, you made a kid out of this shit. Like, who give a fuck? Then you got motherfuckers acting like they want to be there, but don't want to be there. Or, oh, I got bitches complaining. Oh, he da da. Like, bitch, he don't want to see you. Like, realize that, bitch. Don't stop that shit. But then if some of them, they come from their father not being around. So they hold that, what is it, generational curse. They hold that generational curse and they just hold it on. Because look it, uh, that's why I don't take advice about relationships with people that not where I want to be because right. if you get an advice from a people that is not married that haven't been a lot like healthy married not married and cheating and shit you got to take advice from if you got a whole bunch of single women they're going to say well fuck that nigga we going to do it and that's why a lot of these families be broken up too it be the older adults the niggas and the older bitches they be so scorned and that's what they did so they want to pass that shit on like you can do and you know they probably did a good job in the home but they didn't have to do it like that if they would just realize yo his father want to be there fuck it you feel me fuck it like 
fuck it. I'm not going to make it hard for you. I'm not going to get no child support. I don't, I wouldn't, I'm not going to do all that. Be a father, make sure I'm straight. Cause at the end of the day, you still gonna have to work hard to raise a kid, regardless if you got them or not. And sometimes you can get them and a bitch be working double time hard and got a bum in their house. They work a double time hard. Uh, like, come on. <laughs> Meet you guys, father. Okay, so it's all fucked up in the game. Like, niggas need to take responsibility. Bitches need to take responsibility. And once you have a child, it's not about you no more. Yeah, both parties need to take responsibility, though. Right, both. It's equal because we're human beings. So half of the human beings need to like understand you're not a child. People be like, I still want to do this. I still got my dreams. No, motherfucker, your dreams is on the back burner. And that's just how I feel. You feel me? Because at the end of the day, if I can get these niggas to get right and get this money, then I that won't be the headache. I don't want to be dealing with my kids when they 18, 20 years old and they in my house and fucking with me. Like, I want to hear them saying, yo, I just went over here. I'm over. Oh, you over here, nigga? Oh, you doing this, nigga? Oh, 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 oh. I want to do shit, I, you know, further than what I did. Like, I don't want to motherfucking see that nigga every day, no money in the pocket, being happy to work at Walmart. No, fuck that. We had all these years to figure this shit out. You're going to be the best you can be. I can teach you some shit I don't even fucking know. But we're going to put you in the room, nigga. Fuck that. I do not want to see these niggas. And I love my kids. They can come back to my house every time, but I sacrificed my life. I did shit I ain't want to do for you to have a great life. I'm not working hard for you to stay here. I could work half. That's why people, you know, I understand some people owe that shit to their kids. Because without their kid, they wouldn't have no roof over their head. They wouldn't have no food stamps. They wouldn't have nothing. So they owe, like, they want to be in their kids like all day. Nigga, I had to pay for this shit. When I go to fucking doctor's appointment, I got to pay co -face. Listen, I pay for this shit. These niggas need to relieve my pockets. The fuck? I'm teaching these niggas how to be get money. And if you can get money with this thinking, let's go there. You know which ones can't work with their hands. You gotta fix you gotta figure out what these niggas can do, man. Every night these niggas gotta do chores. These niggas gotta make sure your shit is nice. You feel you just gotta I don't know. It's weird out here. Niggas don't give a fuck. They want their kids in their face all year round. Yes. I don't care. Just Eat the food, eat dinner, okay? All right, don't knock on the door no more. I'll come in in a minute, okay? All right, thank you. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Niggas snitching because niggas ate the popcorn. Like, leave me the fuck alone. But, you know, I got to deal with that. I got to be nice and shit like that. But, nigga, one day, nigga, let me... Can I yeah, hold that. something? Is that, is that normal? Um... I mean, not not normal. I know it's definitely abnormal, but what is the ratio, like statistically, for uh, uh, girls being assaulted in house by their parents? Um. Okay. So for me, I would say that a lot of girls, from like a lot of people that are not, a lot of people that are not, a lot of people that are not, um, from America. So I'm talking about Jamaican households, Panamania, the, the over the overseas third country. That goes on heavenly. That goes on heavenly. It goes on, and that's that's why they like the way they are. They it goes on, and nobody can tell me that. I know that I've been. I got family, and uh, you hear that a lot. You know what I'm saying? And some like in Hispanic, not Hispanic, but let's say Hispanic. Some uh, they think that breaking breaking the child in. So in the third world country, I think it goes along with that, and it's it's spread it out in America. America, we have we we don't play that shit. You feel me? Like you're going to jail. You're doing you know for me stuff is going on. But hurt people hurt people. You feel me? Niggas know who the molester is and they family. But they don't tell. Just like bitches know who burning bitches and don't say anything and let the nigga. They see the bitch with the nigga. They know they got burned. They don't stop a bitch and say, "Girl, you too young. Don't fuck with that nigga. That nigga ain't right." No, they don't do that. It's a generational curse. You know what I'm saying? And people talk about girls, but a lot of boys be molested, and we have to like everybody. Everybody want to act like that shit don't happen, but boys get molested. But it's so secretive because it's because they train them to not say nothing. Really, really, really good. 
because you're not a man. You're not a man. Wow. Look how much faggots we got. You know some touching what's going on. Fuck niggas going be, on. Niggas be wild. You know what? Because at one point in time, when people used to think like that, that bullshit, motherfuckers used to be like, yeah, that motherfucker's mentally unstable. No, now, it's like so many motherfuckers be with that shit. Man, sometimes it started from grandma house because she wanted to be lazy and have everybody take showers. But I say, everybody take showers together. I don't play that shit. My kids take a shower. There's nobody going to showers with each other and shit and all that weird shit. Oh, they kids. No, fuck this kid shit. I don't play that shit. But they go like that. You got kids. You having them lay it and sleep together, do all that shit. You don't teach them, you know, like, you know, it's just weird. Like, and then we had a time where you got kids that have two. We, we in the um Sodom and Gomorrah time. So you got kids that got two of the same um whatever gender as parents. So they don't even know that's molestation because they're going to be like, oh, that's how we show love. That's how I like you. There's a, you see it two women or two niggas doing that. What are you teaching your kid? You get what I'm saying? Right. Like, right. I definitely agree with that. So it goes deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and, 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 and where, where it go. So it's like we at a point where people got to just really watch their kids, pray over their kids because you don't know what's going on in that other child's and what they raised to. They might not even know what's wrong. It's right. taught to them. Right. They see it in-house. Mm -hmm. Right. Learn behavior. All these motherfucking gay people, you know, adopt these black kids. You feel me? Oh, no. Like, they probably think it's normal, but was on in their house. They just faggot. Like, no. Like, come on. We got to be real with ourselves. This shit is going on. And it's going on with kids. And it's going on with boys and girls. I have never seen a rap from... Niggas used to be gay back in the day, but it was like... You couldn't even count them on the hand. Now this shit is out of control. There had to be some touching and touching, man. There had to be some shit going on. It's crazy. This shit is now. This shit is a problem today. Like this shit is crazy. Man, I be having a I don't, I don't, I don't, up. What, and, and the thing about it is, just me being real. Like I'm, I'm not biased at all. You feel what I'm saying? I'm just saying, shouldn't be. The, the 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 volume of individuals is is just as is like the rate is. You gotta not. watch this show um called um change is uh, is a change show because um there's a lot of people that was like that and they changed and they got to the root of the problem like this person had full blown titties and everything he got everything cut off you know and he was like it was. He said, I'll come in there in a minute. Um, they said, um, what they said, they said that it was all because I was molested. You know, they didn't get me mental health. They didn't ask me what was wrong with me. They was just okay with, you know, a lot of people go to jail now and they'll go to jail just to get that free titty, the, the, the titties in the ass. They'll take them drugs and steroids because they'll pay for it in jail, come out a brand new person. Like, it's crazy, but the root of the problem is something that happened and they tragic that happened in their childhood. Mm. Uh, I closed my door. Okay. Wow. Sorry, y'all. I know that shit. I know that shit crazy. So. I know it's sad and it's crazy, but it, it's all about secrets. Like people, people, there's a liar or whatever. Stay in my home and don't say nothing to nobody. Da da da. But we gotta clarify that. But like. If niggas is touching people, that nigga should not be at the Thanksgiving table, bro. Like, niggas will sit down and know that that nigga weird and looking at cousins and shit. And niggas don't press that nigga or niggas don't press that bitch. She always doing weird shit. Niggas ain't saying nothing. So niggas ain't saying nothing. They keeping that, that secret. Nobody's saying nothing. Nobody's telling. Bust their motherfucking head open. That's what need to happen to them niggas. Yeah, yeah, but if nobody's saying nothing, nobody's telling nothing, you know what I'm saying? Nobody will know nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people got to say something. 
Like, and if you don't raise your kids, sometimes your kids can protect the other kids because they can, you know, my kids, they ain't playing that shit. Sometimes they be like, they be in the locker room doing a little basketball. Niggas go in a separate room. They be like, oh, why you with it? Because we don't be changing in front. Like, you got to have, you got to teach your kids because sometimes they can change. They can, they can teach people. They can change people's lives. Yeah. You can't keep your kids. Like, my kid, my daughter can't. She was like, yeah, this um child want to say that they this name but it's really a girl I'm like well, you call them by the name they got on that paper nigga don't even switch it up <laughs> or don't talk of them don't talk to them you know what I'm saying but you can't don't let them make you mad because they say oh you're being whatever no nigga don't, just don't talk to them like they why they want to talk that start that conversation with you anyway so if, if, if a kid was going through that you would tell your child to call them by the name they was given. Don't don't change the name. Oh, it's happened many a times. It happened many a times. My kids don't play that shit. Like you would laugh. My kids don't play that shit. They they they, they ain't going for that because they know that they, whatever they say out their mouth, they're gonna be judged for that. They ain't about to go to hell. Or really, I'm not going for what your mental health is, nigga. You think you a girl? That's fine. But when I talk about you, you can be like, oh, this dude. Or him, like you're not gonna switch up our shit now. If you got, if you get trickers really good, maybe you'll be called a he she nigga. But you ain't tricking us. You ain't about to have us lie to your ass. Yeah, that shit. Just everybody. It's just. It's like so many people. They just. I mean, they just. They just living their best life. They ain't living their best life. They living, they living stuff that could kill them. Like all them, all that procedure and shit. That shit, like that's why I say you gotta watch that show Change or something like that. With the guy, they transform back woman and man. You know what I'm saying, and they get themselves right. It's just like some of these people have been hurt and they can't tell their story. They only say, oh, they go from the hurt part. Oh, you feel like that? They don't go by why you feel like that. What happened to you? They be like, oh, you feel like that? Let's do it. And then when these people get these surgeries, they don't feel no different. They still have depression. And it's worse. Like, I knew a person, um, my next door neighbor when I was in Hartford, Connecticut. He used to fuck all the fucking so-called hood niggas. That's how I know who gay and who not, right? So he got the surgery. He tried to get a pussy. The doctor fucked up, bruh. Now he can't even fucking, like, when you get that surgery, you can't even bust a nut. He like, damn, I can't ever do shit. Like, nothing. Nothing. The dude dressed like a nigga and everything, too. Like, he don't go with the girl. I don't know if he do it at night, but he dressed like a nigga in the daytime. But, you know, I'm a nosy motherfucker. Once I get to know you, I'm like, what the fuck going on? With you you feel me like and now he was like yeah like i was like wow like niggas getting these surgeries you can't even get a nut like just like when them girls back in the day they used to get the ring down there my friend got a ring um no her cousin got a ring down there and she can't even bust a nut like you can't feel when you start fucking with what god put on your body so a lot of these people with procedures they can't even bust a nut that's why they use themselves out so much and then you got the girls that could bust a nut be tired as hell like i can't keep up you're not supposed to you real bitch you not fake <laughs> You feeling everything. These motherfuckers can't feel a slap to their ass like that. Moms, we can't slap me more than 10 times. I'm like, nigga, I'm about to fight. Fuck is going on with you? Try to fight me, nigga? <laughs> you look at the poor and then niggas punching they shit, smacking everything, anyway. Okay, but nigga, that bitch is fake. That shit, is, that shit hurt his hand as much as it, she don't feel it, bro. Like, you can't catch up to shit that's not real. And that's what people gotta understand. They try to they try to catch up. They the the, the things that they look at ain't real. They can't catch up to that shit. You will never catch up. But once you get there, you're gonna realize that shit is fucked up. Well, hmm. deal with your father. <laughs> yeah. Oh glass of that baby. That's not even a thought in my mind. If you're gay, you always been gay. Hell yeah, that shit. Like niggas don't be thinking about that shit. That shit, like you, it, that's like that's not something you think about. Like you just don't think about no shit like that. Think like, about what? Some bullshit. Like that shit always. You always thought about that shit. Like that shit always been in you. You feel what I'm saying? You what? Just, 
they said something about being gay. I mean, that shit ain't like, been in you. That shit been in you since you got touched. Because if a girl always liked you and nobody, no nigga never hit on you, that wouldn't be the case. But when a nigga hitting on you, he doing different things, and you like, oh, I might like that. You feel yeah. me? Because right, you don't got same, a father. Because right. if you had a father or you had some male around you that was really around you for that, she's touching the alarm. It was, don't touch my alarm. Thanks. Um. Thanks. That, it ain't in you. I don't believe it's in you. I believe that you got touched. And that's just how I feel. Because I have a lot. I don't judge nobody. I got a realm of people that I know. And when you get to the root of the whole problem, they say what it is. And you got to keep it and just leave it like that. I am not here to change nobody. You could be who you want to be. But just when you were in front of my motherfucking kids, you better, better fucking act the way you're supposed to act. Cause we gonna have problems. Nah, you ain't always gotta get touched. Um, what's the what's the name of that 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 pill that they give y'all women while y'all pregnant? What y'all be taking? I don't know. I never took no pill. I had a midwife. I mean, what was that prenatal shit? That's what like I that. guess so. I never had none of that. Oh uh, well, yeah, the prenatal pills. Um, well, I know yo, you're right though. The yeah, um, well, it don't make you zesty, no. The what yes, it they do? do. They actually got something to make it with the, they, they Listen, I know what you talk they about. You talk about hormone pills, hormone no, pills, not, but this. No, I'm not no about let me. The prenatal pills. But what I'm talking about with the niggas is they used to give the niggas that used to have ADD, right? They used to give them that medicine because I was a pharmacy tech, right? I got the shit on my wall. I will send this to you tonight if you don't believe me. I got the shit on my wall. They used to give them niggas and them niggas used to grow titties and shit. You feel me? They used to fuck up with their hormones. Yeah, but no, listen, understand this. Okay, so I understand what you're saying. You're saying they used to give the dudes um, the hormone pills and they used to grow titties. All right. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that the standard prenatal medic pill or whatever shit that they be giving y'all, the doctor prescribe y'all, I'm saying that has something to do with your child's sexuality. Like, well, that's it, how it's something to do with their child, with their child, because uh, I never took prenatal vitamins, so I don't know. I had a midwife. Big Dice just did it. Big Dice just did uh, 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 have some content on it, and it's explaining how the side effect if a girl like like a female it can give her too 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 much uh, testosterone and the male it can give him not enough so if it give a female, i know that certain foods can make you zesty like soy bean yeah, well, if, if if she got too much then you know she gonna be on some like but if, and if he don't have enough you already know what category he gonna fall in so and I just right but you, you well, what i'm saying is this i agree but then i don't agree why i don't agree is because i know some men that you would think they zesty as fucking they got a bitch and the bitch might look like a whole nigga like big bitch you feel me like big bitch and they got kids and family they just you know switch the lane she kind of big and bitch and and he's skinny and low you know he just you know whatever but he still got a female you get what i'm saying he still got a female he might you might think this nigga is the gayest nigga on earth but he got a bitch she big as fuck look like a whole nigga and he's had kids with her take care of them they drive a nice cars i done seen it before so i feel like that you know a person could be fitting them fitting them is not gay fitting them is just how you was raised you get what i'm saying some niggas don't want that nasty shit in their motherfucking um and they and they and they boxers you know they like to change they like to groom themselves some niggas like to be fitting them you know what i'm saying but that had nothing to do with being gay you know what I'm saying? Feminine, Gay is something when it's penetrated in your eyes. Feminine niggas is like behind the bar. Gay niggas is like behind the bar. Like I that. never watched him. Yeah, he that that nigga is that nigga like his whole mannerism. Like he moved like a mook. Like he you think he he moved and he he be like, ooh, child. Like that's how he talked. You could tell by the link the language that certain dudes use. You feel what I'm saying? Like just like if you ever see him, how he twitches head, like that shit pissed me off. He, he twitches head, then he always got these fucking cowboy tight ass jeans on. I never, I never, I never watched them. I can't comment. Women don't be, I mean, niggas don't be saying no woo child. That ain't something that niggas be woo child. Then he just because the, the, the way he moved, just like a fucking moo. Woo child. Mm -hmm. like, don't be saying no shit like that. Yeah. <laughs> you just go with that ooh child. I ain't jumping on that. I don't know that nigga. I can't. I can't talk about a nigga. I don't know. I don't watch him. All the time I watch him is when um 
This nigga with the arms, ten toes down, fucking um, ran up on him and said the nigga had a plastic car and all of this. So I don't know. Ten toes down humiliated him. I ain't even know. I just looked at Death of a Cloud Chaser. They had one hundred twenty eight thousand views alone on that shit. That shit probably got over. Make sure it's not a nothing. That's the only part I like. I like his little intro. I did. I just be like, I ain't watching that shit anymore. Ten toes down. Make sure it's not a nothing. At least I got to watch that part. Since I, you know, like I probably watched him like three times this G, this three as long as I've been on YouTube. I never watched it behind the bar. I don't know. He fucking he he like put you in the mind of like Richard Simmons, like the the the, the mook dude and shit. Like he. It's fucking weird though. Yeah, but he he get mad last night. This somebody... nigga said a Russell Simmons. Oh my goodness. Weird though. But um let me see. You crazy sir. They they gone. Let me see. So maybe there is cases that people get abused and turn moot. Hell yeah, that's that shit happens sometimes. I think that shit happens that sometimes. That shit happens sometimes and then that shit don't happen sometimes. That's why you got niggas that really like murder niggas. You feel me? Like murder niggas. You feel me? They don't fuck with niggas on no type of level because they then got hurt. You get what I'm saying? You know, there are some niggas that become killers off of that shit. But you know, it is what it is. Like that dude, what's that dude? They said he was a mook and he was killing mad people. He everybody talk about that nigga. Like a lot of mm -hmm. Man, them niggas is crazy with that shit. Yeah, but it, you know, everybody gotta, you know, niggas be talking about the mook and niggas be mooks on the low. Like the mook shit is crazy. You got, you know, like if DL niggas been out since a long time. One minute. Yeah, the mook niggas is yeah, but the other niggas are telling the mook like all the niggas need to be exposed. They all need to be exposed. All that bullshit. All the niggas the uncover shit. Preacher. Yeah, that's that nigga. That nigga name was Preacher. Juice. What? Hold up. Yeah. Preacher. I think that's what his name was. They said he was what Al Paul was shit. I don't know. All I know is like it could go it could go to the mook or it could go to a serious killer with that fucking molestation with niggas. And then it could go to a nigga that go to the Lord and you know try to help, you know. But the mook shit is crazy, bro. Yeah, no. Some niggas get touching, they gonna kill every nigga. They don't give a fuck. Once you try that funny shit. And then some niggas say, nigga, I've been touching my motherfucking get your ass. Like, I'll tell you, but, um, like, maybe, like, six years ago, I seen this older nigga. He was with a young nigga. The older nigga runs, and he buying this nigga clothes. I'm like, oh, this shit look weird. Like, this shit is weird. Like, what young niggas, because your parents ain't take care of you and make sure you're straight. Niggas will do anything. And some people say, oh, as long as I ain't take it in the ass, I ain't gay, nigga. You know, late night when you rinsing, right? You rinse it late night, you out there. You know, the people that be on the street don't be crackhead bitches. They it be like a couple of crackhead bitches, but then the rest of them niggas be transsexuals on the corner. You feel me? Niggas get their dick suck real fast to keep it moving. Say, I'm out, I'm not gonna remember this. So I just needed a group quick enough. Look at oh, Cool J got caught off with that. Got the whole fucking drag out there. Like, I knew that was LL Cool J. Hmm. He didn't even put on a lace front. He had a whole fucking beanie. On his head. Yeah, I ain't um, be I'm cool. Niggas be getting they niggas that be out here in that drug game late night. They out there busting nighters with they nigga all day. Back in the day, like niggas used to go at least go see a shorty in between. We go to their house, get some food, go back out here. Niggas sleeping in the cars together, nigga. This is a date, nigga. Fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> niggas sleeping in the cars together. You walk by, you like, bro, like they ain't getting no money. <laughs> niggas is sleeping together in the cars. Niggas don't even got shorties on deck to go slide through them. Niggas is sleeping together in the car. They doing a lot. That's how them niggas go to a hotel room and end up with another nigga. They homeboy right in the fucking bed with their ass. Nah, you can't. You can't. Nah. nah. Niggas be doing too much. They doing that shit. Like, you ain't got no business. 
Not just certain things that you ain't gonna do. Certain things that there's certain things that we ain't gonna do, but there's certain things niggas is doing, bro. Yeah, like I, nah, I ain't going. I ain't going. Niggas is really on that fuck pictures, get money. They really. I ain't going to <laughs> with you with no money. I ain't. You ain't sleeping in the bed with me. We ain't doing none of that shit. We yo, some that. niggas be hating on the niggas like yo. You about to go chill with that bitch over the bros? Like yes, nigga, this is pussy. Like why wouldn't you want me to go chill with this bitch? Like what's wrong? What type of time you on? Like. You're weird. Like, oh, he want to chill with the bitch instead of us. Like, yes, y'all niggas is messy as fuck. Like, I don't understand. Niggas is weird. Like, how many times you want to look at a nigga face, bro? Yeah, Even want- bitches, too. Bitches be trying to be your friend because they be gay as hell on the low. Like, oh, you about to go chill with that nigga? Like, yes. Like, why are you all mad? Because I'm about to go chill with a nigga. Like, if you are back in fucking carpet munching ass up, <laughs> you about to have a beef because I'm going to go chill with my nigga. Yo, I used to have bitches like that back in the day. I'm like, oh, you about to go chill with this? Hell yeah, this nigga, this nigga got it. I'm about to go chill with, oh, you about to, yes, bitches. I'm about to be on the road with y'all, fucking seeing what nigga we can use when I got a nigga that got it. Nigga, I got to take a vacation. I got to go real fast. I'll see y'all when I got it. And I'll, I'll spread love. But, bitch. Carpet munching bitches like, oh, I really like you. Like, okay. Mm-mm. You got a carpet munching. Carpet munching. That's what they be doing if the shit ain't shaved, nigga. Yo, my dyke friend fucking um, back in the day, she told me, she said that the bitch shit stunk, that she put a washcloth there and wet it and act like she licked the pussy. I said, you know what? You is a true dyke. You said what? She said that the girl, she I was trying to go down on the girl, but she always bring like a washcloth, a wet washcloth with her. I said, why you bring the wet washcloth for you? She said, because if they shit stink, I'm going to rub that washcloth on it, and they going to think it's my tongue and wiggle that shit. I was like, yeah. Yeah, she wild. She's a true dyke. She she's a clean dyke. I, I listen. She said, "No, ain't nobody no bump on my lip. I'm gonna use a wet washcloth." They already fucked up and tipsy. Why not, man? He's a smart one. You're gonna use that hand. She's gonna push it to the limit with that hand and that watch for a bitch is so drunk she thinks she get ahead. She on her dick that really not really she don't got no dick, but she on her dick <laughs> over a watch for she put she worked the game. Well, watch cloth. Watch cloth. Wow. Yeah. With a wash cloth. Mm-hmm. I'm like, why you carry washcloth? Like, I had to know. I'm like, why you carry wash? She was like, man, let's see here. Mm. You put me on. I said, oh, bitches, or you. They be or you fighting over you and your ass. Look at you. Mm. Mm-hmm. Uh, All right. I'm talking shit about. Nigga he want to talk to you about, I mean, um, I would say government now. He want to talk to you, talk to them, talk to them, talk to them. Get your shit out on fire. See mad about her car and shit. Well, talk to them. You lied. What's up, man? Shit, bro, what's the word, nigga? You know, slow motion, try, try to make moves, man. Everything all right? It's gonna be once I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, she gonna make sure you get it done. She a handful, boy. I know your head be hurting all day with that one. <laughs> she ain't got no hey. breaks, boy. She ain't got no breaks. <laughs> oh, and that's why we gonna turn it back over here because you doing too much, nigga. You know, we not doing that. Right. Not on live team no squeezy. Break. This ain't a phone call, nigga. You got a gel three way phone call now. You ain't right. That's why we can't fucking. Hey, yeah. What? Man. You could have called me on my <laughs> Percy and fucking had this conversation. My bro, my bro ain't no computer, nigga. He, he got everything. He got everything going on. He don't get on no YouTube. He don't give a fuck about no YouTube. He be chilling. He support his wife. He don't give a fuck about this. Oh, shit. No. Oh, no. And, and, and they got everything going on. 
Yeah, but you were right. He do got everything going on. Listen, that nigga, right? Yeah, so yeah. last night, last night, this nigga, he had the slow GMs on before he go to work because he's third shift, right? So I was like, bro, just take off this shirt, bro. Just do it right, man. Because he still got the six pack. I'm jealous. TMI. This nigga fucker still got a fucker. I don't give a fuck, nigga. You got <laughs> TMI when you ask certain questions and try to act like, oh, she a handful. No breaks, no breaks. You said that twice, nigga. Fuck out of here, bro. I got breaks, nigga. I had no more kids. <laughs> funny, a break. Nigga, we talking about breaks and no, oh, she don't got no starter. No, she got the starter. <laughs> fuck out of here. Okay. All right. Back to the situation. You crazy as hell, man. I'm not crazy. Stop calling me that. Uh, well, just know that uh, they're going to be making shows on us and shit. Your homeboy. They're not about to be making no shows on us. They make shows on us for XAP. You want to have to fight for me because I only can come out. They make a show on me. You better fucking let me know. Send it to me. And I ain't going to make no show back because... I could see this nigga, like literally see this nigga. I will take. I, I'm a type of person. I will act like there's nothing going on, and then when I see you, I see you, and then I, my page gonna be lit. <laughs> I don't be talking. There's too much talking around this bitch. Like, bro, I'm from where you really from. Like, I niggas know my name. Like, bro, play with my shit if you want, because this shit. When I come back home, niggas gonna try to prove a point. You crazy? <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Niggas gonna be trying like why would I even argue with you on the internet? You gonna go right to the files and shit. You gonna be at a forty eight hours like let me get a cigarette real fast. Bye, yeah, go to the file. Go to the file right here. I got it on YouTube right here. The knowledge corner. Like no, you crazy. He got enough problems in his life. He got them glasses, man. <laughs> Once niggas get them shits off, it's a wrap. You crazy? Once you get them shits off, you won the game, nigga. The way them shits look, if that nigga could see with them, uh, without them glasses, I'm going to be mad as fuck. Like, nigga, you played the system with the social security check. Uh-uh. Uh, Let me get poster on the ass. Uh-uh. Okay? Uh-huh. If niggas hit them glasses off and that nigga could see, we, nigga, this nigga been capping for a long time. Since the jail, man. I never... Nigga, weird. Like, if that nigga could see without them glasses, all you gotta do is motherfucker take get them glasses off. Once you get them glasses off, he should by the way them glasses look, he shouldn't be able to see the screen for a couple of weeks until he get a new peer. <laughs> <laughs> we won't have to worry about him for three months because you know that them them the government glasses. Because if he was a real nigga, he would have had them shits in Cardi's, bro. He would have had the Cardi glasses. Them shits would look a whole bunch different with that fucking thick ass plate. That shit would have been like those official. Nah, this nigga got the motherfucking blues clues shit. You think those? <laughs> oh, knowledge, knowledge, knowledge. This nigga shit. took that picture. This is the picture that he took to show to put his daughter in the asylum the same. Like, we was fine. <laughs> 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 she has mental issues. I don't know why she go to school with snitch. Bitch, bruh, if you fucked up, you got a fucked up home. Your kid is going to school snitching. What you think school is for? You can keep your kid at home. You're lazy as fuck. That's why your ass don't want to teach your kid at home. Nigga, I am too, but my kids go to the best schools. Okay, but if you not you see your kid, that's you know they snitching, bro. You you fucked up if they snitching on you, bro. You is not a good parent. I know kids that go through eat oodles and noodles every night and would dare not say nothing to the motherfucking counselor. Like I ate ham and cheese and bacon and eggs. Niggas lying and shit. But this <laughs> with <laughs> she went straight to the feds on your ass. <laughs> she told yo in a black home urban home ghetto home urban home in the hood we know that we do not say that's the written code nigga that's why some of us get high and shit when we young like man we about to go home nigga this motherfucker go slip that shit like bro <laughs> this shit so she's like hell no nah, i'm going right to the motherfucking feds on your ass bro mandary reporters 
As I thought he was still little, he said, bitch, you really went against the grade. I'm about to go there and put you in a <laughs> solid state. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to put you in the side of state. He went to the school hard body and shit. Like, nigga, like, you have got this shit miscomfort. Like, what? He went inside. So, what you did, you proved everything that they, that your daughter been saying, bro. She, like, bro, I got to tell somebody this nigga about to have me locked up. They won't let me out in the crazy asylum, bro. Fuck is wrong when she told, nigga, that your ass came in there like motherfucking, what, Brady and the Patriots and tried to tumble her ass down? Like, what the fuck? You fumbled the ball, nigga. Because now you in court and they like, shut the fuck up, nigga. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> shut the fuck up, nigga. We got court documents from the social security lady. Or no, I mean, not the social, the fucking social worker that's registered to that school that wrote all the documents now didn't even send it because you probably was trying to smooth you a smooth nigga so you probably you know them bitches in Con Hartford they they just weird some of them bitches especially in the school system you know you probably maneuvered your way right they like maybe she do have problems because them bitches got problems they weird as fuck you feel me they was working with your ass but they still had the documents nigga your ass with the core. Your ass is like, I'm going to represent myself. Nigga, you can't even read the paper. The nigga said, bruh, you can't read this shit without paper, nigga. Without your glasses. You crazy. We don't want to hear shit from you. <laughs> nigga, weird. Like, how you do your daughter like that? You should not talk to no for, about nobody at all. Yeah. That's your fucking daughter. Well, you got everything to say. And we didn't even know he had kids. We thought he didn't even have kids. So he got a whole seat out here. Fucking a nigga that's older from the block. Allegedly because he got you cigarettes and gave you some food stamps to feed them by the kids. And sad. Yeah, baby father 40. She 20. Fuck yeah, that. and I'm gonna say allegedly on some shit because you know what? This nigga done lied. He never said allegedly on me. He always fucking lying and shit, lying on people, making up stories. Nigga, you got a real story, nigga. You need to <laughs> focus on that. This shit is some juice, nigga. This is this is some tea. Nigga. Yeah, he he uh he did bad with this shit right here. He did bad when he ever forever came on the internet and tried to act like a real nigga. He did bad with this shit, that nigga. That nigga a bitch ass nigga. Look at his shit. There's no way. I've never seen a real nigga with that type of chin. Never in my life in history. Look at that Not nigga. even a hundred dollar bill got a chin like that. Well, that nigga glasses. That nigga marks me. That nigga ain't never missed no shot. Look at that nigga right there. That nigga got no fucking. I can't even look at that nigga eyes. The glasses got them shits looking like crazy. Them shits. He look like a little baby T Rex. He look like baby shot. Them shits is algebra. You be looking at the motherfucking cars past the the yards so that the distance come up on the. That glasses. nigga <laughs> could see from Connecticut <laughs> all the way <laughs> into NYC, nigga. That's why he knows so much. <laughs> I the shit for real. Up on them glasses right there. Like, this should be like one mile. A nigga can see right. Stuff. Don't take off his glasses. He can still see through them shits of what the fuck he was looking at. Those shit bitches be right there still. <laughs> Remember them shits back in the day and show the same pictures and shit like cling, cling, cling. <laughs> Nigga. Them niggas look at the glasses and he, he his old memory come back. <laughs> balls is attracted to them glasses. Look at this nigga, this stupid ass nigga. Somebody yeah. said, look at his fingers. Like, I don't want to look at them dirty shits. Them shits look like his face. <laughs> them shits shaped like his face. <laughs> yeah, he's mad as hell. That, that, uh, bro, the daughter <laughs> look like, why the fuck is this nigga taking a picture with me? Don't she got that face like it's a fake ass smile? Like, ugh. Yeah, that's the it's same nigga. thing. School with did that shit at school. Yeah, with. She mad as hell. She hate that nigga. Yeah, like she looking at him like, thank God I don't got his fucking chin, bro. I only got like, why did I get the glasses, man? Yeah, she hate that nigga. Mm -hmm. Nigga, you think she look like him? 
she looked just like him, to be honest. Like, you know, like not even on no shade shit. That's nice that he got a kid, but she he did her dirty. Like, hopefully they can rekindle that shit. But it's like he she looked just like him, but I'm just so happy the baby don't got that chin. I'm so happy that baby don't got that chin because that chin would have fucked that whole shit up, bruh. Dan yeah, did a sorry job of raising and she got two kids by a nigga 40. She 20. Listen, that was the mother and the father. Because at the end of the day, where's the mother's at? Everybody want to ask where the father's at, where the mother's at? Because if the mother was on it, she wouldn't have fell the victim to that because the mother should have been telling them about his slime ass. Like, you don't want to end up like me with this slime. Like, you going to have to do this and that. Like, you know, when do you talk about a nigga? Sometimes you can talk about a nigga. I think her mom might be deceased. No. Uh, are you serious? Yeah. That's sad. That's a whole sad story. Yeah, I want to say. He needs to go back to the church thing. Well, next time he come on, he need to talk about his testimony and how he 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 went through shit and how to reconnect with children because he need to re he need to go with an old inspirational and get his life together. He, him coming over here with hot dog breath and ah, uh, we don't need that. Yeah. Cause he be in the church, they say in Hartford, Connecticut. He be in the church, they eat drums and all that. <laughs> For real. So like, why won't he just bring like you don't? Everybody don't got to be a tough guy. Like some people need help. Like if he is still talking to his daughter, he can talk about stuff like that. Some people need help with rekindling with their kids. You feel me? Like him coming on with that killer gorilla shit is not working because like the paperwork is not looking right right now. Damn, man, he went all the way to Ohio for nothing and literally did nothing. Who went to Ohio? This Hold nigga, up. Man, this bitch ass nigga, somebody sent me some shit. He's sitting up there lying and shit, talking about he, was at, uh, he went to somebody address and all this lying. He shit. did not go to no Ohio. He went to the casino in Ohio. He went on, he did all that front on YouTube. He ain't do shit. He ain't. He ain't. He wasn't looking for no smoke. That nigga. That nigga's a bitch ass. He stopped the scene. All of a fat, funky ass, I guess. And and he had a little kids so going like he was at a birthday party or some shit. Just crazy as hell. Yeah, he went to Ohio. Give him the phone. No, give him the phone. Give him the Fake Levi suit. Hold on. He went to Ohio to go meet Macmillan. That's what you trying to tell me right now, Nicole? Nah, nah, hell no, nah, he ain't gonna meet Mac Man. So why the fuck would he go to Ohio? For nothing. He just went to Ohio just to I don't know. Man. Well, I, they were supposed to fight like about a month ago or something like that. I think he tried to act like he was in Ohio and he went for Mac Mean. But that's corny because at the end of the day, it's like you could have just hit that nigga up and said, I'm here. You know what I'm saying? You was paying that nigga. Wasn't he? He was paying Mac Mean to be his friend or some shit back in the day because they had a whole thing on no for no fame. So you could have just text Mac Mean. You could have rekindled it or said sorry or met him and scrapped up. But That's he don't want to play those games because in the midwife, everybody strapped up. That's a fact. Nah, but see, he he fucking he really mad at Mac because his girl used to send Mac Mean to somebody money and shit. So he his girl used to send. No for no fame, Mr. P, well, grown man P. His girl used to send everybody money. That's nothing new. Like right. his girl and him used to send the money instead of investing in their kids or whatever, whatever the situation may be. But why would you go to Ohio and not meet the nigga that live in Ohio? Because I would. I'm out here. This is where I'm at. Come see me. Man, that nigga ain't want, that nigga want no smoke. That nigga's a pussy. I don't think he was in no Ohio, nigga. I don't believe that. The big ass nigga went to Ohio, but he ain't do shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like he ain't, he ain't do that nothing. nigga. Like he did not go to Ohio. I'm not believing that. Even though if he probably, I just don't believe that because why would you come there for no reason? You came there to go to a fucking casinos. Our casinos ain't like the Midwest. Our casinos in Connecticut are way better than the, in the Midwest. So you literally went to go spend your money. They don't have bars. They don't have 
um, shopping centers. They don't have shit like that in the casinos up here. Not that I know of. The casino is strictly for money. So what the fuck would you go to? Like, go there for a purpose. You just went there to waste your money. Like, you're, you're, you don't got money like that. We know. You stay in the basement. That don't even make no fucking sense. Yeah, he trying to play tough. God, that nigga's a fucking... He Ohio. Who he went with? Who he went with? I don't know who that nigga went with. That nigga had on a whole... That nigga looked like he had on a fucking... A, a starter team jersey jacket. That nigga had on helmets on his motherfucker. Uh, he probably literally went out to Ohio because Harper is small, so like with me, when you get fucked up, you like to drive. He probably was fucked up and was like, I'm just going to drive. I got bread, I'm just going to drive. Because taxes is out right now. Taxes been out. Older niggas know how to get their taxes faster than the young niggas. You know how that shit go. They had their shit out by the time. is they be the first one. Turbo Tax be like, you are first in line. So like... That nigga fucking probably just went because he ain't had shit to do all day. Because I would be damned if I go to Ohio for no reason. You ain't go to no Great Wolf Lodge. You ain't go to no fucking resort, nigga. I'm spending four days if I'm going to drive somewhere. You don't got money like that, nigga. That's crazy. Fucking weird, though. If I go to anywhere, I'm going to make sure I stay there for at least four days. I'm not wasting my gas money just to fucking go there and go to a fucking casino that's not even better than ours. Nigga, you cat. <laughs> Nigga, you just want to show, oh, I'm not scared. I'm the receipt, the knowledge, the corn. Like, bruh, like, you need to just pop already. I'm tired of the corn, nigga. Pop, nigga, pop. The receipt already. <laughs> For real. Well, I would have went somewhere nobody like me. I would have called them, like, come down here. Fuck it. Fuck it. Let's go. Like, well, whatever it's going to be, whatever it's going to be. Like, you know these niggas they ain't trying to go to jail for life, so it's just going to be a fucking talking game on some real shit. So let's talk it out. Let's figure out what's going on. See my what I'm worth. Like, see that I'm not playing with your funky ass. No, nah, these niggas really came and fucking said I'm in Ohio. I remember when I was young, I had a, a, a thing like that, but I showed up. This girl fucking said around the whole school she was going to fight me, but I didn't know she was going to fight me. So my cousin said, you know you're about to have a fight. I'm leaving school. Like, oh, I'm supposed to have a fight? We go there. Her eyes was wide as fuck. Like, bruh. Like, yeah, we about to fight today, bitch. <laughs> Dragged her all over the track field. Like, at Harper High. Her name was Sh Shonda. What's her name? I, I fucked Shonda up, too. So we just want to say her name Shonda because I fucked both of them up. So at the end of the day, like, why would you go somewhere if you don't want it? Why would you waste your money if you don't want it? I'm down for if I lose or if I win. Uh-huh. Listen, but you should know when you come to the Midwest, everybody is strapped. So you might not want that problem because that's where they're going to go with it. Niggas ain't trying to fight on some real shit. Like, niggas is not about to fight your ass. Niggas is going to shoot your toe off or something, make you realize. Like, a warning shot first. You're going to be like, pop. Is that your black ass going to run or not, nigga? Niggas is going to pop that shit in the air. Like, we're going to give you that warning, nigga. Oh, they give a warning shot? You have to do a warning shot. Well, were you a citizen like me? I would give you a warning shot. Like, I would. Because, you know, nobody wants to fuck you up. Because I don't know how I might feel during that shot when I shoot you. So it might kill you. I don't want that. I don't want to deal with thinking about you for the rest of my life, nigga. Like, let me just give you the warning. And if you a nigga, you going to bring your shit out too. And then we got to go for what we got to go for. But, every you time, know. Every time somebody squeezes that trigger, they should consider a shot to be fatal. Yeah, everybody should, but I'm a female, and at the end of the day, unless you a nigga, you feel me? Like, I'm not trying to, like, I'm I'm not, I'm not, if I go down, I got to make sure that I go down the right way. At the end of the day, I did the one shot. I don't give a fuck if it's fast. If I shoot it up and then shoot your ass, I'm doing that, because when I fight, you got to think about after you shoot somebody. See, people think about the beginning and talk this slick shit, but after you shoot somebody, do you really want to say it in jail your life? No, I don't want to stay in jail all my life. So I have to make sure that everything I do is accounted for. I gave her one a shot. 
how long was it? I don't know how long it was. I don't give a fuck how long it was, but I did the one shot first. And that's why that bitch is where she got to go. Or that nigga is where they got to go. But I have to go for what's going to save me after I do the crime. People don't think about what's going to save them after they do the crime. That's why they go to jail. I think about what's going to save me. How can I defend myself when I'm behind them bars when I say, yo, don't buy the lawyer. I don't want the lawyer. If I sit here, they're going to let me out. Like I got to think about that shit. I think about after I do the crime. Niggas think about before. I don't give, if the shit miss you, the shit miss you. I don't give a fuck. Like, that's your life. I could beat this crime. I got pay, I got shit to legify what I did, and I'm good. I'd rather live another day like you living another day than to go to jail for the rest of my life because I almost attempted to kill you, and I have no warning shot, no nothing. Like, I have nothing to say that I tried. No, you're not winning, ever. Away in the court, nothing. I'm thinking about the aftermath. And see, when you go into a crime like that, you'll beat everyone every time. I beat attempted murder charges. Real shit. Every time. I fought about the aftermath. Niggas don't want to think about that. They want to think about, oh, I'm in the feeling. Everybody, nah, fuck that, nigga. I'm thinking about this shit right here because I'm trying to come home. I don't want to fucking think about you like that. I don't want to fucking think about this. I don't want you to take up half of my fucking life in jail, bro. I'm beating this case. I got to see how I'm going to work out this case. If it's cheaper for me to fight it out of jail and get, a I get, I buy myself out and I get a public defender or I sit in there and get a real lawyer. However it's going down, I'm going down and I'm thinking, I already thought about it. So I can't snitch. I can't do shit because I already thought about it. I told niggas where they was, what was supposed to happen. Right. I'm sitting in there. I'm good. I don't give a fuck how much my mom cry. I don't give a fuck. I'm around. I know what's going down. You know? Now camera's here, so fuck it. Can't do nothing. Like that. Gotta get that warning shot. The camera's here. Oh wow. And that's the So law. many cameras. What they got the um the the now they got the thing where they could trace where the shot been off and all of that. It's not back in the day, nigga. At least if that tracer could shot that okay, the person got shot with one shot and they only got a shot before. The shot before was the warning shot, and whatever happened was whatever happened. I was scared for my life and I tried, I tried, but I felt like they was gonna get me. That's a different story versus two shots, nigga dead. He got two shots. How you gonna fight that? How are you going to fight that? Tell me. Tell me. You're right in the jail, nigga. Yeah. I don't give a fuck if it's five years, nigga. You're right. You know what you could do in five years, nigga? No. You got to do whatever you got to do, but you got to think about the aftermath. You can't think about before because before was already... You said before what? Your mic went out. Vasca. <laughs> da. Debian, hold up. Hold up, Debian. Yeah, that's that nigga. That's that nigga now the shit. Woo child. Nigga behind the bar said, Woo child. Mookie ass out of here, nigga. Fucking blade. Don't get mad because somebody ain't defend you. Who the fuck you think you is? A fucking chump, nigga. That's who the fuck you is. Straight up punk. I've been mad. Oh, so hold up. Damn, Gotti. I almost forgot. Damn, I almost forgot. I gotta get ready to go. But before I do, this might, I don't know. So, this nigga right here, the longest fucking robbery. Look at this nigga. Hold up. Look at this nigga. Look at this nigga. 
And they robbed this nigga while the police was riding by. Look at this nigga. Who that, y'all? Who this, bro? Yeah, I see his shirt clothes, right? I see the nigga shirt clothes. I see the nigga shirt clothes. Show you a picture of these niggas digging in his shirt. And the police is right there. Look at the nigga digging all in his shirt. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's the problem with you YouTube niggas. You niggas is worried about this YouTube money and who y'all got on y'all YouTube page. Other niggas like me don't give a fuck. Look at this nigga right here. Mm. Look at your boy. Why you say that's my boy? Because I interview him and I don't get in that beach. Nah, I'm just saying he got he had a long this all this was pictures from the robbery. I seen this. I asked him about this on my show. I asked him about all these things. You feel me? Like, but if you don't, if you don't my my thing is this. Do you really take that seriously? He he's doing his platform. That's not, you know. So now word of everything too, but I seen him in the background, he had ratchets on him. I seen that shit. He had a little, I don't know if they was real, but he had him. And so I, that's why I asked him on my interview, like, why you ain't had your thing with you when you see K boys ran up on you? You feel me? Like, I don't know. You know, the YouTube shit is crazy. Look, they got their arm around this nigga. This is the longest robbery. And look at this shit. Oh, this shit happened. And they robbed them, and they took pictures. They called it the little Nunu game. The police right outside. When they robbed them, I couldn't wait to get these pictures. <laughs> Why you don't? What's wrong with him? Like, what? What's the beef with him? I got no beef for none of these bozos. Mm -hmm. He just be popping shit. Like he, he would. He, he be popping shit at shit. you. He be popping shit at you. Nah, he don't know me to talk. He just be speaking on blood shit, like. He ain't never, he ain't know nothing. He ain't blood. But what he say about you, Wax? He be speaking. Look, then he be speaking. Then he be speaking on shit that he don't know. He but just, what he say about, he said something about you? He a loud mouth kid. Oh, yeah, yeah, my name is mouth a couple of times. Okay. That's what I know. Yeah, not anything that I will remember, but so, you know, from time. Oh, and then he mad. Another reason he mad. It's because I be talking about the herpy bump on his mouth. So, oh my god, uh, I try to, I tend to, but he lit I, one. Um, I want to go to that shit one day. You got a thing? Can you three way we in that shit? He lit on there. He lit on that that thing that that what is it? Disneyland or um, what is it? It's some ad. It's a channel. It's a um, I don't know. What's that shit called? There's some shit that he be lit on. What is it called? Do he be talking about getting robbed and shit? No, what is it called that that app he be lit on? That's some shit. I don't know if it's um Disneyland. What is it? It's some... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Wax AP and them be on that shit. I don't know nothing about Not that. Wax AP. Wax 100. Wax 100. What's that shit they be on? The clubhouse shit. Clubhouse. I'm sorry, I said Disneyland because the Nick Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. I watched that as a kid. <laughs> but the clubhouse, they be on that clubhouse shit. I wonder how that shit is, yo. Oh, he got it started. This nigga got the longest fucking robbery. Nigga, you about to be on some that shit right now? Nah. I serve my purpose, though. We had some good conversations. You could be on that shit. I'll tap out. Jimmy P, where you at? Come up. You know you good for that. <laughs> that nigga be like, yes, nigga got the way saying all day. Look at that nigga. You can't even see that nigga from the wave. Man. 
I ain't with that. That nigga was nice to me. I can't be mad about that. I was kind of mad when he started fucking. He he had DM'd me and told me I was wrong about knowledge corn and um the the nitty nit again. I told him what was up and he fucking he, he that's the only thing I could say, but I wasn't like he never disrespected me. Yes, I can't disrespect people that never disrespected me. But that's the only thing I tried to tell him, like, and he still fuck with them niggas, man. And then when they shit it on him, he was like, "You see, you was right. Like, nigga, I've been right. Like, I, I, I don't even contact people unless I got something to say or I got something to ask. And I'll contact you. Like, I never talked to you. Like, I've been talking to you yesterday, for real. So, that's I, don't, I don't know about Roski. I don't know. All I know about Roski is that they, I, I had, um. Figured out Roski when he, they, I guess, before no fame and grow me and P had exposed him. He said he got AIDS and he said he got molested and he the Magic Johnson of New York City. I don't know. That nigga, that's on a different type. I don't want to argue with niggas like that, you know? Niggas like that is not worth, like, in real life, like, I would never want to put that headache. He's like a knowledge corn. Like, who is that? Wait a minute. Who this? Yeah. Don't they look alike? This this is this is sister. Who? Who's sister? That nigga. Oh my goodness. She giving me Angie Stone vibes. She giving me black brother. Strong brother. <laughs> Uh, leave that old lady alone. She probably was. She probably the reason why he was lit back in the nineties. She probably was really getting it. I ain't gonna fuck with the bitch. You know, it be like that. That's how. Uh, what's his name? Motherfucker, well, niggas be the be bitches be putting niggas on and niggas be acting like they was on. Like she might be with slinging that shit. Who the fuck is that? That's his avatar. Y'all crazy. That's Roski, little doodle. I never seen him before. That's her. Cause he had AIDS. They he said out his own mouth twice. I said, "Damn, like you got AIDS twice." I thought once you got it, you got it. <laughs> I done learned some new shit on this. I gotta go back. Maybe to pharmacy home. school didn't teach me shit. I don't know, like. <laughs> He said that shit was good. He had to go back to the big homie. Ah. Uh, he got that shit in the boom boom room. Leave them alone. You know they the archives of the YouTube. Huh? They the archives of the YouTube. Leave them alone. They've been trying to find their clout for a long time, man. It was failures. Them niggas is failures. Them niggas, like Them niggas deserve a Hall of Fame. Like, for real, like, him, like when I hear, like when you know you be in people's chest, you hear like this nigga get. He has enough. People got enough time to go in everybody's chat, like everybody chat, like every, like not because niggas reach out to you. It's like nigga, you reaching out to everybody. Like them niggas want an award. They want the YouTube thing on the back of their shit. So they working hard to get it, man. They working hard to get that, man. That they don't give a fuck. Work. That nigga, they said that nigga had a fight. I would not fight no nigga that said he had AIDS twice. That's crazy. That's probably why they had the gloves on, because, bro, you got me fucked up, uh, bro. I'm not fighting nobody on this shit. Niggas, I got enough. Uh, it's not enough money in the world for me to fight on the live TV. <laughs> Niggas like I'm about to scrap, like, man, listen, I'm about to scrap it. Unless it's real niggas that you want to see scrap. All right, we get it, but not dumb niggas. <laughs> like, where'd everything I would love to see like Mac me or you just knock motherfucking knowledge corn out? I would pay for that. I wouldn't they could like whatever money it would take, nigga. <laughs> like <laughs> There's something to see, like does this rewind when I get like this nigga got knocked the fuck out, bro? Like, scared of me. 
But it's certain niggas that you don't even want to see get touched. Like they, they, they niggas that's you know they in the YouTube niggas. Those are YouTube niggas. Like leave them YouTube niggas alone. Like they even fuck with them. Is like come on now, them niggas is YouTube niggas. They doing their content. Leave them niggas alone. They do whatever they do. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's right. what they do. You know. Yeah, you're right. I, you know, I respect it. I know, I know the difference now. I don't get up here. Rotation of these. Um, you know the difference. We could say, okay, you know the difference between a chin, right? Yeah. Okay, so we know the difference. If anybody don't know the difference between the chin, you can't have a conversation with us. Uh, yeah, I know the difference. The nigga just fucking right. And that's Holmes didn't even want to show his teeth. Like, what's wrong with his teeth, man? That nigga mouth look like that lady from Ghost. Whoopi Goldberg from Ghost in the Face. Oh, my goodness. She brought it back. I used to watch that movie all the time. Whoopi Goldberg had her move, like... Oh, my goodness. You ain't right, man. What his lips look like. Fuck that nigga. That nigga, that nigga look hot. He got the hat, the do rag. Like it look real hot. Like is this fiery? I know he need to apologize to that little girl. I know that. I know he's he pretty though. She's not even ugly or nothing. Yeah. Like that's yeah. the sad part. She's not ugly. It's not wrong with that child. That child is a pretty baby that just was was not liking the way she was getting raised and. She told, hmm, she told one of her father, and because she didn't like the way she was getting raised. That look at knowledge born child. You see her? She not ugly. Uh, nah, she just seen her before. You seen her before? Yeah. He, my husband said he seen her before. Where you see her? Yeah, he he Obviously, a Harper, Connecticut. <laughs> Yeah, she got, she got, she got, she got a kids with um a forty year old dude, two kids. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's her. That's her. Yeah. Damn. Oh, bro, said he seen her. Yeah. She live in the hood. But I gotta leave the bathroom and tell him. Wow. Yeah, they don't know him. Her name is I don't know. That's not, not about to put yeah, she, she, she live in the hood. Oh, she live in the hood? Oh, she a hood? Yeah, right. she, live in the hood. yeah she, got, she got two kids by somebody 40 and some shit. That's crazy. This nigga, this nigga, this nigga's a weirdo, bro. He on yeah, YouTube. he is a weirdo. He on his YouTube shit, doing all this talking. He can't even control his daughter. And she in the hood. This nigga act like he got everybody in the, in the mountains and shit, and mansions and shit, country ass nigga. And he go to the school to beat her up and shit, snatch her all up out of school. This nigga look shit. at him. <laughs> look at him. He look like the weirdo. Motherfucker <laughs> <laughs> got my focals on. <laughs> that nigga make sure he don't. That nigga see everything, literally everything. <laughs> yeah, them, them, them frames, them glasses, thick as hell. Look at them shits. That nigga shit thick as hell, boy. Now he mad as hell. He, that nigga hate me, boy. Cause fuck that nigga. That nigga's a bum. Them thick ass glasses, nigga. Man, I told my wife when we when we go back home, we gonna pull up on that nigga out there. And that nigga gonna call the twelve on y'all niggas. You pull up on that nigga. That nigga is not. Nah, cause it, nah. He, he if he he say he be in the hood, that that do you know what that that was my my stopping grounds growing up. You know, so if you be if you say you be over there, I, I, man, they love me. They love me like the king over that bitch. You heard? Oh yeah, nah. You know this nigga just. I get I get nothing but love in that in that that area. So if you over there. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna definitely rub it, r run it to you. That nigga, ain't, that nigga ain't with none of that shit. That nigga's just the internet nigga. Man. That nigga nah, I, ain't even, I ain't even, I ain't even going. You know, I ain't got to put hands and feet on you. I'm gonna just let you know, you know what it is. <laughs> and if you want, you want to push the issue. I got, I got, I ain't got to do nothing. I got somebody that handle you real fast. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Real shit. <laughs> all, all, no money, just for the love of it. No money, just for the love of it. Yeah, nigga, beat him up just to show you the show you the love. Show me the love. That's it. They like, man, I love you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Beat niggas up for you. That's, that's how much I love you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, now let's now I, that nigga say he run home. Huh? That nigga say he the king and he all this. Nah, stuff. I ain't saying I ain't saying nah. I don't I don't I don't nobody run nobody run Hartford. It's either you you get love or you don't, man. Niggas gonna respect you off of that. I know that nigga ain't getting no love. That nigga's a fifty-year-old fucking clown, nigga. That nigga you know, goofy ass nigga, no love. That nigga's a fucking weirdo, bro. Going down to the school, he go down to the school, bro, and snatch his daughter up out of school, and grab her arm and pull her hair and shit. They lock his dumb ass up. He go to court, represent himself, and lose trial and shit. So, yeah, yeah. Then you know, like I say, he let his his little girl fuck with the nigga. 40 years old. 40 years old. She 20. He 40. Fuck that. Yeah, he was, was she was she was chasing she was chasing something something that wasn't there. She was chasing a father figure. That's what she was chasing. She she that nigga was a piece of shit. So she was chasing 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 the father. She nice. wanted to know what a real father would be like. <laughs> she wanted the daddy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow, yeah, that makes sense because he damn sure neglected her. If that nigga 40 and the nigga she fucking 40, it figures. Yeah, that shit, that shit crazy. Hey, that shit crazy. Since you heard what he said, that shit makes sense what he said. She, yeah, that shit makes hold sense. Hold up, hold up. We went to go get my bottle in the car. <laughs> I said, you heard what he said. That shit makes sense. What he I said. heard what he said. I was going there attending to these kids. They act like I'm the fucking help and shit. He I said, feel like I play these. Mm -mm. You can't go too much. He said, "If she twenty years old and she fucking with a nigga forty, he said she looking for she was looking for a dad." Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Now you need to get your shit together, nigga. Neglected, huh? Huh? No, I said he need to get his shit together, neglected man. Man, we can't even fuck with niggas like that. That's weird, bro. That's too much. I wouldn't. I don't want no beef with a nigga like that because he got a lot of his shit in home that's fucked up. Like, I don't want to hurt nobody. Like, that's crazy. Like, do you know what shit happens? Like, people be thinking this shit is a game on the internet, but real niggas is different. Like, all right, niggas is like niggas not playing. Like, there's no point. Like, that nigga got a sad ass life. Like, I feel bad for that nigga. That shit hurtful. Your own kids don't like you. You're flushing your blood. You got to put your kid in asylum same so she won't tell to the fucking... Who the fuck kid is going to the school telling son? They, she even tell grandma? The fuck? That's too much. Look what he did. In school? But she couldn't even tell her grandma. She couldn't tell no woman in the family. Nothing. She couldn't tell nobody if she fucking went to the school. Something was bad going on about... He was doing some bullshit. There's no way my kids gonna go to the school and say some shit about me. Like that's it, crazy. Like call DCF and do all that shit. What's really going on? Like you really have to be a bad parent. There's no way. I don't care what nobody say. Oh the oh the kid. Like no. Mm -mm. Yeah, knowledge you've been exposed, nigga. Knowledge born. You know. Knowledge not being exposed because he knows his secrets. His ass fucking the truth is coming out on his ass. Like he can't even do the shenanigans. Like that's weird as fuck. Like he's a bitch ass nigga. He could talk about whatever. Like you know, some niggas you just gotta let talk because they're not even worth it. Like niggas really doing shit. <laughs> And you think I'm going to stop my breath for a crumb, nigga? I don't want crumbs, nigga. At least it's not happening to you. Are we going to get paid from your pockets? This nigga might even have a fake-ass chain on and a 50 cent for a Lucy in his pocket and an EBT card. This not nigga not worth dying for that. Nigga ain't worth putting hands on. Nigga don't got the real cardies. No, come on. 
Now it's born. Okay, what I'm gonna do next? All right, go take a shower. And then? And then after you take a shower, then tell me what's good. Okay. But no. I gave it a second. I'm leaving. You gotta let them know, knowledge. You gotta let them know. They don't know. They don't. They don't know. They don't know. They don't know. Them niggas do not know that, like knowledge. Like you gotta put the knowledge. Like you gotta teach us how to, you know, rekindle with our children. You know, to let us know this. This is a good story. You know, like fix it. You can help people out here. It's a lot of people going through shit with their teenage ass kids, but we got to be honest about this shit. Like, what really was it? Like, was it, you know, is it really real, nigga? Is it really real? He know it's real. Mm. He know it's real. That's just sad. Your daughter not even ugly. We can't even, like, go there. Your daughter's a beautiful girl. Like, why did you do that to her? She is. You're not ugly. What? She she all right. Like, you know what I'm saying? She fucking an old ass nigga. What the fuck did you do to that baby that she got to fuck up her father? Basically. Yeah, she got, she, she's sleeping with somebody twice her age. 40, she's sleeping with somebody. On, you could have catch me. I don't give a fuck. My aunt, my aunt taught me not to do that. You know why? She buried this nigga. He had the money and everything. This nigga fucking old as hell. She thought he was going to die. This nigga still alive. I swear this nigga like 100 years old. This nigga's where the Tim's everything fresh to death. This nigga about to outlive her with insurance policy on her ass. Like, she thought she was marrying him for the money. This nigga about to outlive her. Like, mm. bro, you look at him. This nigga still look at Chris. He and motherfucker DMs and everything. Like, bro. I don't know, man. That shit crazy. Mm -hmm. That's bad. Huh? That don't make no type of sense. That shit right there. It's all right. I ain't gonna wait on the. She probably she looked like she was really putting in that work back in the day, bro. Like <laughs> she might be the one. Like you no, know, for real, she looked like the king, penniless, penniless. Like you don't know this bitch was carrying razors in her mouth. She probably got the name licking. Cause the bitches of Harper really do put down that work. I ain't gonna hate on the bitch. You ain't gonna hate on her face. Cause them ugly bitches be having them light skinned niggas, man. They be getting all the niggas cause they got the money and shit. You know she from Harper. She got the twist, the popcorn twist, and the side ponytail. She wasn't playing. Well, that's the Harper look. No, it ain't the Harper look, but that's the that's them bitch. Like if it was crispier, maybe back in the day, yes. Back in the day when I was fifteen. You had the popcorn twist. She probably stuck in when she was younger, but that was the style. When them, you used to have the popcorn twist and you have a crimp ponytail. You feel me? Those was with the lip bitches with the Cardis and the Chinese slippers and the bow or whatever, jeans, whatever. Or you go to, um, what is it? Um, the limited, the limited to buy some shit. You feel me? Or Gap. You know, Gap was out. Old Navy was out when I was like, that was the places. You feel me? You go to the Clinton Mall, go hit up everything, the coach, everything. But the twist back in when I was 15, yes, that was the hairstyle. Not like that, but if it was more crispy with a crimp ponytail and she had her uh, big earrings, that was the style. You feel me? So the way I look at it now, it's 2024. She didn't catch up yet, but she might have been the one that was holding down the work for the family, man. Look at the face. <laughs> <laughs> but I ain't look, listen, she might be the problem. That's why he talking too much. Like you might call her sister. She might come in with that work. <laughs> she was. A, he said all the stories he tells. She probably did it, but shit. He probably was fucking with twenty one love and shit for real. I'm gonna get my sister. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think the sister was putting in that work. Look at that face. She was putting in all that work. She looked like she's supposed to have a gold teeth in the front. She looked yardy. She looked yardy. Yeah, she done got hit in her face a couple of times. Yeah, like she looked like 
he was putting in that work. Like, what are you talking about? My, like, you know, like when you got one sister that hold it down, that sister you call, she fight niggas too. Like, I know bitches in Hartford. I fight niggas too. So I know she look like one of them bitches that fight niggas too. Like, bruh, I will fuck you up. What fuck are you talking about? My cousin? That's my cousin. What? I'm fucking you up, nigga. Niggas be scared of bitches in Hartford. Real shit, bitches go all out for the niggas they love. They don't give a fuck. They'll drop a dime. They motherfucker call DCF on a bitch. Just they'll fuck the whole situation up. What? Let me erase these pictures. Yeah, erase that picture. I don't want to talk about that nigga. Yeah, let me erase. He these ain't do nothing wrong to me. And, uh, I just, I just seen. I just felt like I said, damn. Look at all these pictures. Nigga done put his arm around him and everything. Look at All right, that's his story. You know, his story is now his story in YouTube. You know, you could always go back and see what a nigga been through. But at the end of the day, this nigga fucking, this nigga fucking still got his channel going and rumping. Somebody fuck with him. He He's rumping. So I ain't gonna get mad, nigga. That's like if I was on the block, right? And a nigga selling that fake ass shit. I wouldn't mean, give get mad. A nigga in his money, fuck it. Like, I ain't get mad with you. Just don't fuck with my people, nigga. Keep that whack shit over there, you know? I can't get mad at a nigga. He's trying. He's trying his shit, rumping. And shit rumping, let it shit rump, nigga. Like if you could go on and you can have that shit and you could be comfortable with that, he's he more relevant than knowledge corn. Knowledge corn ain't saying shit about these cases. Uh, no, that's a fact. This shit, oh, this shit is fact. No that, um, I asked fucking um Gotti. I did interviews with Gotti. Like he fucking keep it real. Like he'll be like, man, this that that that. He he not. He own the shit that he do. He know what he be doing. He does that. He likes that. That's what he do. He does it. He does. That's just what he do. But, you know, Knowledge Corn is on some other shit. That nigga's a liar. Hmm. Yeah, you a liar. You a liar. That nigga was like, yo. I heard that nigga say some shit. I ain't never in my life heard. That nigga said, yo. Shout out to my husband. He just got his license today. Been driving since 15, but he just got his license today. He's changing his life. Oh, yeah. That's dope. Yeah. yeah. He been riding without a license. I be like, nigga, get your license. Like, he been, but but you been, but you got, when you been driving cars for so young, you don't think it. When he got his license today. Mm -hmm. I don't know. What's up? Oh, yeah. Got a good ass job and don't got no license, but as he want to be a trucker in the company, so I said, you know, you got to get your license now, and you want to be the trucker in your company, so you got to get the license now. You know, you got to get license. Cause I'm not about to be coming down like niggas, niggas. Fuck that. I'm tired of my name being used on cars on some real shit. We done with this other shit. I don't want my name on shit. Put your name on some shit, okay? Fuck that. Mm -hmm. my, my name gotta be all over the board I'm looking like a millionaire No, fuck that Ain't no two move shit Fuck that no, fuck Put your name on shit <laughs> No, cause when niggas get pulled over That shit go to me Like Fuck girl with you Like nigga got Nah nigga Get your shit up to par I'm tired of this shit We don't even live We don't even live ghetto no more We need to come correct now We in the suburbs Let's live suburb man Listen I don't need no cops. Oh, this is your tickets and uh uh. I don't want my name on it. Put your name on that shit, bro. He got his shit together. He happy, excited. <sighs> I'm happy. Put your name on shit. Put register this shit and your shit, nigga. Register all the shit, nigga. Now it's time for you to lead the way. I'm tired of this shit. They gonna flip that. I'm tired of this shit. For real, ain't no motherfucker. For real, ain't no more Jada kid shit and putting shit in niggas bitches names and different. Nah, fuck, it's the same bitch. I'm tired of this shit. I want all this shit under my name. Fuck it. Take your shit, nigga. Mm -mm. Building your credit up. Oh, thank you. And I built his credit up, and that nigga ain't had shit under his name. His shit had damn near eight hundred. 
Fuck that. That nigga, it's time to turn tables. I done carried you, nigga. We out good. You don't sell drugs no more. We good. It's time for you to turn the nether, turn, take the leaf. Uh-uh. No, I'm done. Mm -mm. That's dope. Mm -mm. Seven something, that's dope. We built that, because I fucking got everything under my name and everything under my fucking name. No, that was time, nigga, to turn the other leaf, nigga. Fuck that. I'm done. I did my work. I stood by my nigga. Let's run your shit up. Yeah, that's what's up. Let's run your shit up, nigga. We run my... I'm done. No. You said you're done with it? Hell yeah. Like, how do you get a nigga from stop selling drugs? Do you got to work with a nigga from getting rehabilitated? Do you got to get a nigga to get a good job and work through the system? Because this nigga fucking used to stop. Like, I'd be like, go work at his job. Nigga be like, yeah, I used to make, I make more money on the street. I'm not working there. Like, damn, like, what the fuck going on? Deny jobs, deny jobs, get a good job, they pay them enough and working a nigga up and holding it down. When do you say, okay, I held it down enough, it's time for you to now, you know? I'm done. I'm out of here with that shit, man. I did it. Turn a fucking hood booger into a motherfucking man. You did what? Mm -hmm. No, nah, <laughs> I said I turn her booger into a man. I'm done. <laughs> Shout out to Brody. Oh, Shout out to Brody. Eight hundred, yeah, almost the eight hundred, eight hundred credit score. Good, came out the hood. Patient, casting. I, we did it. We did it. Think. Shout out to him. Let's now. Let's turn everything into your name, nigga. Getting this L, skin this shit. Let's turn let's turn this paperwork over, nigga. I'm gonna be like, let's sign these papers, papers. I don't like that Usher song, but right now, <laughs> the papers. Mm. That's dope, right there. Though. It is dope, but it's hard as fuck trying to believe in a nigga, bro. You said it's hard. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard to believe it, to see something that they don't see that they could be, because they only know what they know. Yeah, it is hard. And sometimes it's easier for the nigga to sell drugs. Fuck it. A nigga get arrested, I get a vacation. And I, but the money got to be spent back into the court system, so I can't fuck with that, because all the money got to be spent once the nigga get arrested. You got to spend that back into the court system. Everything you have, now you got to start ponding it to make sure this nigga all right. Even if he paying for his phone call, my husband used to pay for his phone calls and everything. I had to worry about that, but it's just the whole point of the lawyers and this and that. I'm not getting that much out of it. It's not worth it to me, you know? It's not worth it to me. To you. Mm -hmm. So why not make this legit? Like me and my this girl I used to know, I used to call her my friend. She was like, I would never fill out an application for my nigga. I was like, you stupid as fuck. I will fill out applications for the highest paying job. All my husband got to do is walk up to that shit and get that shit. I'm doing it. You crazy? Like she was like, I would never. That's why your nigga a bum. That's why he no got no job. That's why he fucking sitting out there in the street still. I filled out applications for my nigga. All my nigga had to do was show up and and do what he do. He know how to sell drugs. You can get the job, nigga. She said she wouldn't fill out an application for her nigga. Yeah, the bitch fucking said I would never. He got to be a man, like bitch. When he show up to that fucking interview. That's the me and he gets his job with his grandma every day. She was like, oh, I'm not filling out application. Like, bro, I'm young as hell, too. I'm like, bro, I'm because I've been with my husband since I was 15. You feel me? So, yeah, I filled applications. I fucking filled out hundreds of applications because I was already set. I had my own hair salon, everything at one time. I was a uh, hair, I was out of doing a hair, uh, I was a hair teacher, too, in Enfield. I used to be at the info school. Then I got arrested after. But we didn't talk about that. But what I'm saying is, like, I used to fill out applications and shit for my nigga. So we can, like, if I felt like, I felt like if I'm getting money and I'm getting on a different level, then I felt like the nigga that's with me need to be on that level. I would never leave my nigga behind, you know? 
what I look like working corporate or doing whatever I'm doing. Yeah, I'm still in the street, but I'm still trying to get up there. Why would I leave my nigga behind if he funding whatever I'm trying to do or he doing whatever, you know, like, why would I leave him behind and not have something, you know? But then sometimes it'd be the nigga too, cause they look at you like, damn, I I don't see your vision, and they like, bro, this the job ain't gonna pay me that much. Like, I just I I rather sell drugs. It's like, bro, like, do both, nigga, do both, please do both, because when you get pulled over, then you got your checks up to say that you work for this money. Like, just do both for right now. Just try something. Does that still matter though? what the check stuff it do matter unless you got caught by an informant or you got caught by an undercover cop if you got that money on you can say that you just went to the check cashing and you as long as you got your check cashing shit in the car i always keep my receipts to check cashing they they can't say that i can't save money who are you to say i can't save money Right? Who are you to say that? If I got all my check cash and stubs there, who are you to say that I didn't save this money up and that's not in the car? Who are you to say that? You ain't got that much brain. As long as I show you the cop this, they'll be like, all right, you've been saving your money. I, I feel you. I, you might be still in the street, but you, you got your check stub here. Niggas ain't going to go hard like that. Yeah, you don't got so, no checks. Huh? Yeah, but even so, I don't got pulled with large amounts of money and you tell them niggas. Nigga, if you got every fucking check, they can't count your. They can't count your money now. They can if you got. It was a certain situation, and I I had one bill. Where they, they, they end up if you got your check, let me tell you this, right? If you got your check stubs in there, like the cash and receipt that you cashed all your money, just your receipts. You know what I'm saying? If you got enough in there to calculate at least a third of that shit. They can't say nothing because I keep my money in my car. These are my check receipts right here because I'm trying to save my money. I really don't got nowhere. Whatever story you got to say, what I would, you know, I keep my money right here. I don't put it in the bank because I don't trust niggas. Whatever story the cop is up to the cop. But if you got every check that you cash receipt there, they can't say that that ain't that money. They can't. You have every receipt that you cashed there. They're going to give you that shit back. I don't know what kind of cops you must be fucking with. Niggas from the where I'm from, nigga, you got the receipt. They're going to be like, man, all right. You got proof that's your money. Your receipts is right there that you cash these checks, bro. Uh -huh. Always keep your cash and receipts in your fucking car if you living out, you doing two, two sides of it. Mm. What, at what point do they count your money, though, to try to confiscate it? Like? That's my question. When they fight drugs, or not even when they fight drugs, okay. when they pull you over, when they pull you over and they smell like drug, like smell like weed, they have a right to pull you over. You get what I'm saying? And then when they look up, like where I'm from, Hartford, Connecticut, and they look up your name and they seen like the shit you was in and your record ain't right, they're going to go in depth with that shit. They're going to go in depth with that shit. Depending, on, depending on when your last case was, and like nobody depending was. Depending on what area you in, and you got lines of amount of money on you, and you in a drug a known area, and they pull you over in that drug known area, most likely they gonna confiscate that money, and you gonna have to go to. And where you gonna put your money at? Like me, I put everything up. Like when I had the jag, I always put my shit in the jag because the jag come with the key, so they can't go on my shit. You know, because they do dirt, they dirty, you feel me? Like, they can go in your shit and count, you feel me? But if you got the jag, you can lock your shit. They had to fight me for the keys, man. You don't got to worry. But if you don't got a jag, some niggas like hair it, having a shit in a shoe. Because I come from this, the, the, the era where you put your shit in your sock. Or you might put your shit in your pocket with chest or whatever. If they check you, that shit might slip out depending on what kind of money you got. At least you got the receipts, bro. I got the receipts. I say my car, I'll be out here. I'm homeless. Whatever story you got to make up that they understand why you out here a lot and like why you in your car. I'm trying to protect my shit. I don't got no big car. I don't trust nobody. Whatever shit you can make up at that time, I don't know. All I know is that it worked.
Mm. Yeah, we was driving through Kentucky, bro. Motherfucker had a whole bunch of shit in the car. I told my husband, my husband did not want to play sleep. I saw a play sleep for some reason. Son told me to get into the passenger side. So I went into, I, no, some reason somebody son told me when we was at gas I said, let me get into the driver's side. So when they pull you, us over, it's going to be me. Because I could deal with this situation. I could deal with the heat. Like, I know how to fuck with these niggas, bro. You know what I'm saying? But he ain't want to play sleep. He was like, why y'all? I'm like, yo, like, if you would have just, just play sleep. They let us off, but it just took me a little bit more time because this nigga want to talk to them and be like, why you pull us over? Fuck how they pull us over, nigga. I'm in the front seat. I'm taking everything. It don't matter no more about you no more. It matter about me now, so shut the fuck up. I'm going to talk to these niggas. These niggas go, ah, my shit legit. I'm in the front seat. I'm already saying I'm risking the situation. And we got out. You get what I'm saying? I think sometimes niggas need to just shut up if you got a real bitch. Because they ain't no bitch going to say, let me transfer. Like, I felt it. I was like, yo, let me just let me just drive, though. Let me just drive in the, in the front seat. His ass, like, word. And he know I hate driving at night, but I did it. And the cops pulled us over right after this nigga, him. So he caused his supervisor, Kentucky. We in the nowhere. Like, I swear we was in racist town. Damn. He called his back up, the guy, whatever, we talking. I'm like, oh, you got the same last name as my husband's name. Whatever, made a little thing. He like, what is this? He's, I was like, yeah, the guy said he smelled weed. I'm like, I don't know why he would come to that, but ain't no weed in here. I'm eating the salad. I ate my salad because we just had went out where we went to, Ramon. We went, we went to a restaurant. So I once they pulled me over, I pulled out my salad, started eating. I'm comfortable. I rolled out all the windows. Roll them down. I said, what's the problem, officer? And I understand his mistake. Like, I had a plate, and it was ripped off a little bit because I was driving. It was ripped off. I didn't get my new plate. I get why he pulled me over. I get it. You feel me? But let's make this situation smoother, nigga. Like, me and my husband, like, why are you pulling? I'm like, don't even talk to this nigga. Like, I got this. Like, whatever happens, I got this. It's better with me than you. I got this. You feel me? This nigga, like, he, like... So the guy, I'm like, just call your supervisor, whatever. He like, I gotta call somebody. Like, just call your supervisor because it shouldn't be no problem. Like, I'm driving the car. I'm legit. Everything legit. Everything legit. Boo. Like, he looking at the boxes and shit in the car. But I'm like, everything legit. I'm eating my salad. They come up there like, damn, I'm hungry. I'm like, I'm hungry. Like, I got salad. You want salad? And the shit went off good. Like, we good. They like, where you coming from? I said, yo, word everything. Like. I pulled off my lashes so he wouldn't think I was ghetto when he pulled me over. So when that, the supervisor come, I said, word to everything. I pulled off my lashes. I showed him my lashes. I said, I pulled these shit off because I didn't want y'all to think that I was some ghetto ass bitch. You get what I'm saying? He was like, yo, word to everything. He was like, you know, I respect that. Like, I didn't want him to think because I know I'm not, but I'm taking Google Maps and I'm taking where I can't take the, um, I didn't want to pay for no tolls. He was like, I feel you. I was like, them toes be a lot of money. He was like, I feel you. And he let me at, he let my eyes go. He let my eyes go. It was no problems. I know he smelled the weed and shit, but he didn't give a fuck. Like, it was about the respect. It was about, nigga, I'm just trying to go where I'm trying to go. I got to go where I was trying to go. Like, there's no argument. I took off my lashes. I'm coming respectful. It's not for you to go in my car. We don't have to take it this far. We don't have to take it to you going in my car. I'm legit. I'm the one driving. It don't matter about what my husband's saying on the side of the car because he ain't driving the car. This nigga, this nigga don't have no energy. What we going on here? What's really going on is you pull me over and I'm driving the car. So that's the person y'all need to be focused on. Me. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's like... Along with that, what I'm saying is I'm done out this motherfucker. I'm happy this nigga got his license, everything. Everything is legit. This shit need to move on to this nigga. Take care of his own shit. I don't gotta fucking be superhero. I don't gotta be, um, what's her name? Super woman for you. Ooh, we, you can Fuck that. I'm done. It's over. That's good. I've been through it. Thou, 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 th
Been through it thousands of fucking times, yo. This nigga fucking, they call me, police call me, like, we got your husband pulled over. This nigga calling them pigs and shit. I got to come me like, oh, you call your girlfriend, da 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 I go get my car. This nigga got to go to lock up. Like, nigga, why is you mad? Niggas pulling you over and you don't have no fucking license, bro. Like, I don't understand this shit. <laughs> So, nigga yeah, driver yeah. like he fucking is out here like he fucking got license registration nigga you forgot it's 2000 and something bro they don't give a fuck about what names say on the plate back in the day they used to be like oh the name on the plate we ain't gonna mess with it we yeah. in a new time they don't give a fuck about that plate and shit they gonna that's more evidence for them they don't got a brain they like oh this ain't the owner of the car right these niggas got a brain right. now right Niggas is like, you know, like, for real, like, word, no, yeah, never. That's a, that's a whole fuck. Keep it a buck with you. I don't give a fuck. I would, yeah, you think you riding that bitch shit? You really riding that bitch shit? What they gonna do? Like, they just did that. We went to go get this house. I don't know how he was driving, but they, they give him no ticket. They told him that. They just will give him a warning. But the warning is I got to get my shit registered. I was on under radar because I got cars. So I don't get everybody, every shit, you know, I wish all the shit registered. Like I keep on a, like point A to point B, we shouldn't get caught. You feel me? Like we go to point A to this nigga fucking gets pulled over. They put the shit on me. Like I, I got to make sure my shit get registered. Now, if he would have had his license, he on the title or anything, but I'm the the main person, he would have had that shit done. They would have put that shit on him. Like, you got to get it registered. So now they say, if I don't get this shit registered in two months, then they going to put something. But I have a great, like, I don't have nothing on my driver lessons. I make sure whatever happens gets done fast. You feel me? Like, I have nothing. My shit is perfect. So he going to have to go pay and he got his license today. So he going to get that shit registered under his name. I don't have to do that shit no more. Like, I don't got to go through that struggle, that ghetto shit, or get your nigga shit, all these cars registered under your, no, nah, this nigga about to get this shit under his name, bro. Fuck this. No, I'm standing up bro, for the bitches that hold the niggas down. When they get their license and shit, let them shit niggas ride that shit out. Because when they get in an argument, they go say that's they shit anyway, because they spent the money. Fuck that. It, where that thing? This is my car. Like, oh, where? But I, my name is all over this shit. Yeah, it's legal now. You know, it all start with the L's. Yeah, get them L's, my nigga. This nigga thought he was gonna come to a new place and get the L's, and they wasn't gonna have old shit on there. He got his shit suspended. He even though he had shit suspended, he was like, oh, oh, he has, he don't even have a license. So when you don't have a license and they pull you over, they suspend your shit without you even knowing. So he had to go to New Jersey, Norwalk, New Jersey, or whatever. What is that shit? Not know What was New Jersey? We went to the, over there. Well, Brunswick, New Jersey. Oh, he had to go to court there. He had to clear that shit up. Brunswick. Yeah. Go over there because we was over there. We he had to go clear that shit up. He had to get one in me at Chester and one in fucking Hartford, Connecticut. And now he got his license. He had to pay bread. You feel me? They like we want you to come down here. Like nigga, we're gonna do. We're gonna do virtual. These niggas crazy. Niggas never gonna pay. Or you want money and then you want me to pay money to come down there? Y'all crazy. Like they gotta do virtual. They've been doing virtual since the pandemic, bro. The fuck is wrong with these niggas? They still going. Mm -hmm. He did all his shit virtual. It took us. He got all his cases thrown out. And then he just got his license today. And he was aggy about it because this nigga was so aggy. He was so anxious to go get his fucking. Thing, right that he don't even got our last name on it he got his original last name that's how i'm hurt say like, let me stop fucking with him but he he had the paperwork they put his original we date we we our last name is different we got different last name i was about to put my shit out there pause nigga but this nigga got he was so anxious he got his original shit i'm like this nigga is just, just like he on it oh yeah that you want it like that, nigga? Go fucking put this shit in your name. No, some bro shit. Make sure that sure it's up to cap. Everything. Like, I don't want to be the name in the face of this shit. I do not. This, I don't want to be, like, I'm acting like I'm funding this shit. Nigga, I'm the face, nigga. The fuck? 
Crazy. I'm tired of being the face. Niggas don't know. Y'all better watch Casino out this motherfucker. That fucking mafia movie Casino, nigga. I'm tired of being the face. I'm good. Everything need to go to this nigga name now. You said everything go his name? Hell yeah. He already started with the light and the gas and... He already started. Like, I don't want to look like I got it like that. He got it like that. He need to say he got it like that. I don't want to look like I got it. I got it, but I don't got Like, it's not two people behind one person. It's, I want you to have your own shit. Me to have my own shit because if we have our separate shit, then we can leave our kids two different separate shit and we can go harder than versus they're looking together. Mm -mm. Go ahead. Go eat. No, he he good. Just go eat. All right, eat whatever's left. We don't want that. I don't want that. I cook it for y'all. Y'all eat that. I don't know. I cook something else, but they eating that because I made them collard greens and this, all of that shit. They gonna eat that shit. They maybe made that yesterday. They gonna eat that shit tomorrow. They don't like leftovers. I'm not the fucking chef, nigga. These niggas crazy. What the fuck is this? These niggas, like, expect... I'm out in front of my kids, y'all. I'm in the cut. This is where I vent. But I don't do all that shit for niggas. And they want more than what niggas want. And I do that shit, but they expect no leftovers. They want a fresh gourmet meal. Like, bro, like, it's only been one day. Y'all can eat the powder greens, cornbread. We made steak. They like the roaches, the shrimps. Because the shrimps is the roaches. They I put those in there. I don't feel like buying them shits. But I put them in there for them. Uh, the rice and they got everything they want, nigga. This is a buffet, nigga. Eat that shit. Why am I throw it out? Then I don't throw it out. What I'll have to do is just bring it to the homeless people. I'll drive somewhere, to bring it to them. I don't want to do that shit. So them niggas gonna eat that shit from yesterday. Hmm. They ain't gonna eat it. They gonna eat it. No more straight. They act like they like it's like, I gotta teach my kids how we feel. Like I have to teach my kids like that if somebody else eating, don't expect it. Like nobody loves you the way I love you. Like when you step outside this house, nobody gives a fuck about you. You're not special. Right, like, for real. Mm. Isn't that true though? Because at the end of the day, when you get you know, when you outside your parents' house or people that love you, you're not going to be treated the same way. You might expect it. That's why your feelings get hurt, right? Your feelings get hurt because you thinking these niggas will just treat you the way you've been treated. Nigga, no, you regular nigga. They don't know you like that. Like, what this, are you... Like, are you saying ass, child off the phone? This bitch-ass nigga right here. Who? No, let's go on. You want him again? Nah, this nigga, uh... I think I just seen Venezuela. Venezuela. Because We're Venezuela out. You know he the troll of the year. We gotta give him out awards. I wanna yeah. know niggas' addresses. I'm gonna send the plaques. Where Venezuela that? Why he do what he do? I wanna interview in the Venezuela come up here. He a bitch. Why? Because he yeah. always do that to everybody. Yeah, he always he just talk. He just love hearing his voice. He probably one of them niggas that fucking like touch himself to his voice. Like I was on this channel. Let me rewind and watch it again. Like that nigga like that, bro. That's cool. That's what he is. You feel me? I'm cool. With, as long as you can be yourself, that nigga come all the time on the same note. That he's comfortable in his skin, bro. He's a bitch. He's a pussy. He's a loud mouth fucking punk. I had a picture. That nigga is, yes. Everything. I agree. But that's what he do. He When you say that, he, get, he loves it. He be loving it. He be coming up with different punchlines in the basement or wherever he had in the bathroom. I don't know, but he be coming up with my shit. He loved that shit. Like, he loved to hear nigga voice. He loved to be on and arguing with them niggas. Uh, he love it. That's what he do. He so, it's like, pussy. what you gonna do? He a fucking pussy. That's all them niggas do. Sit on this thing and talk shit and all kind of shit. Venezuela, you a bitch. Oh, Venezuela in the chat. Hi, Venezuela. It's okay. I know mental health is an issue. And I'm a, I am don't judge nobody. So it's cool with me. You feel me? Y'all niggas is weird. 
<laughs> you know, it is what it is. Like, Holmes will come up on the channel and say some out the bar shit. He probably got a good intake on P. Diddy and shit. You never know. <laughs> Let him on the channel. Why not? This is the chat line. This ain't personal. Like, this is what, this is the voice, nigga. This is the ghetto. This is the voice. Venezuela don't got nothing to do today. I just came off of work. I don't got shit right now until later on, like, maybe in, like, 30 more minutes or an hour. Like, come on. Like, why not have a conversation? Venezuela is, you know, if he get retarded, all you got to do is just delete him. That's what everybody else does. They just drop him down, and everybody knows that's Venezuela. That is his mark. His booty mark, you know how you got nasty niggas with scar marks in their motherfucking hands at him. He come with that shit. And that's what he do. I ain't even mad at it. I would never waste my energy. What did that nigga with the one eye say? Lion pain. Don't never let a demon stress you out. And I like that. What Lion Pain say. Oh yeah. Don't let a let a demon stress you out. So Venezuela, where you at? Come up on the piano. I would love to talk to you today while I'm in this type of energy. If you don't come up now, then we don't want you. This is your time. This is the time where people are asking you to come up. Because people really don't even want you to come up, my nigga. Like, let's keep it real. Come on, Venezuela. Come to the platform. Really a bitch, man. <laughs> yeah, them niggas do. They be sitting up here like, That's yo, not niggas do not be wanting Venezuela to come to their check and be like, yo, if Venezuela come, let me know the the, the zap them out and I'll zap them out. <laughs> we asking you to be on the platform. Come on, you gonna let him up? Hey, what you know, Come on. Like me and all the control that nigga. And yo, he, um, yo, are you gonna let him out? Let him on. Juice so vouching for you, and I don't ever like you like that. But I just—it's funny. I—it's mental health awareness. Yeah. Where are you, Venezuela? That nigga need to be had to go and get a. Ben I keep, Ben I keep, Poppy. He pulled up Come on. on. He pulled up on Roski after he left. After he left Roski. Bring your poquito ass over here, bro. I think they went to Victoria's Secret or somewhere when they left. Nine, nine. Oh, Keep shit. on going. That's not enough. No. Hmm. You had to break all that time. You need to do your studies. I'm not fucking with you. Huh? No, I'm looking at this basketball shit. Venezuela, you coming up? Fuck Venezuela. All right, well, then fuck it. Fuck that nigga. That nigga's a bitch. Vinny, you a bitch. We know he a bitch, but why we can't talk to the bitch niggas out here? He might know about Diddy. He might have an input. Like, who cares about these niggas out here? That's what you got to understand. That's why I liked about, you know, 050 China Bread. He has got it. In. Like, if these niggas want to act stupid and it's going to give me views, why not? Yeah, I respect that. On the road shit, he'll come up and say it. People don't be watching it. I be watching the shit from a different angle because I'm a different type of nigga. And Holmes be like, oh, today we gonna do this shit and we gonna do this shit. And I don't give a fuck about what's going on. We're gonna change the title and niggas be crashing out and be looking dumb as fuck on his channel and he got it. And whatever they put on their channel, it don't even matter because he got it on their channel, <laughs> on his channel. And niggas be looking retarded over dumb shit. But why not? Like, you feel me? Fuck that nigga, but come up here and act a fool. Like, what do you have to offer to the plate or your table? You feel me? You gotta think up of it like that. You know what I'm saying? But fuck you, Venezuela. That's what he on right now. I gave you an opportunity to come up here. You didn't come up here fast like you be on other people's channels. So nigga, you ain't really you ain't trying to fuck with this channel because you know maybe you feel like we go get your ass. Cause the way you be popping up on other niggas' channels, that should be like you done busting up fast as hell. Your ass be popping up like ping 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 ping. Like, like what? You ain't pop up on the the Nile River like that? I don't know. That's the first time I said the Nile River. I feel uncomfortable. Cause you know, it's the new show. It's just me. Uh, <laughs> I, I, yeah, I got a time. Is it? Oh, it's about. What did you say? I'm saying about time. I gotta go make a run anyway. Me too. I gotta go too. My kids and open this door three times. All right, bye, y'all. Mm.
Yeah, I'm going to call you. Tell you tell bro I said congratulations on the license. No, you fucking don't be recapping this shit. Niggas got to watch the full video, nigga. Don't be doing that shit. Niggas should have caught it. <laughs> Bye, nigga. All right, Venezuela, you the bitch. All right, dude, I'm going to keep with y'all a little later, nigga. JP, what up?